Oh, shit. Ah, oh, no, I, sh I can't say that that early in the VOD. I, I, I forgot. Sorry, YouTube. Was that seven seconds? Uh, I can probably... Uh-oh. I think I might be in trouble. Anyway, I think this is day four. I need to update the stream title. This is, this is one inventory slot day four. I don't know how much longer we have with this challenge. It's probably going to be a while. Not going to lie. Like usual, I think it just ended up being a bit more difficult than I expected it would be. However, due to our, what, hour and a half straight of, straight of grinding last time, we'll probably do a little bit more grinding to start off today, because last time we did mostly illusion grinding for, like, player levels. And then I think today I want to do some block grinding, some restoration grinding. We did do some restoration grinding last time. Good to see everybody. I know a bunch of people are probably going to ask in the middle of the stream, where upload? Where upload? We're getting there. We're getting there. We're, we're... Thank you, kind sir. Finally, Juve, I see you live. Good to see you, Van Buren. Hope you've been well. How does the one inventory slot work? Thank we have one can, inventory sir. slot. Finally, Twitch sends out a note. I, I don't know what's been going on with the, uh, with the Twitch notifications. Um, so. Thank you, Colin. Yeah, well. Happy birthday, We'll see where this Mr. one goes. President. Seven months on 21 Pilots release day. 21 Pilots release day. Is that, is that, do they have a new album? Thank you, Colin, sir. One more month till little baby Max Keeble is born. If you name your Twitch baby Max Keeble, that might be the only one I try and take care of. Thank you, Colin. That sir. might be the only one. Not responsible enough for a baby, so let's just... Thank you! Finally! Okay, you're the first person... <laughs> I think you might be the first person ever hitting nine months who says, You know what? You know what? Maybe let's just not. And I appreciate that. I know you were worried about playing new games because people want Skyrim, but we didn't anticipate it was me asking for more Kingdom Come. Don't worry. So, so my plan right now and kind of why the most recent upload has taken a while is A, we brought somebody onto the team, want to sort of take things a bit slower. Obviously, I want to make the project the one that's coming up ideally on Sunday. I wanted to have it done by tomorrow, but yesterday I was doing another sequence in the video and just realized... Fuck, it's going to take a really, really long time. Uh, so, you know, I, I just want to make sure that we get it right. But also it was like an opportunity to say, OK, let's just delay this one. Thank you, Colin, Not sir. indefinitely, but I had the baby aborted before. Let's push it, it back a little born. bit and down the stairs give us time, time to do this one. I didn't want it either. So the goal is to kind of have this one close to being finished recording by the time you know, I end up finishing the 30 days video. That one should still be a lot of fun. If I could compare it to any of the videos I've made before, I would compare it to Bruma. Because it's a lot of, there's a lot of bits. There's a lot of over the top, ridiculous edits that are really Thank fun. You, sir. Well, um, I can't it, wait for our picture together. It's kind of hard to describe. Baby. Like, there's an entire sequence where. Do you guys remember when we did the Skyrim 30 Days? I, I don't want to spoil Thank too much, you, but. Sir. I can't help it. You are not the father. I'll catch up. But I'll, you have I, to I, I promise I will catch up on all of the, the child support in a bit. Uh, do you guys remember when we were doing the 30 Days challenge? How I kept thinking that Nazir was the same voice actor as Dexter Deshaun from Cyberpunk. I thought that that was funny. So I re-edited all of his audio. Maybe I told you guys this on live stream, now that I think about it, but I re-edited all of his audio, put him on a green screen, built the entire like Cyberpunk phone call like UI so that it looks like he's delivering the mission context via cyberpunk you know phone call and it was re it's really really fun and i really enjoy it so that one just is it, it's just taken a while and i got to another sequence oh, i was having so much fun i discovered da blob like i discovered the soundtrack for this game called da blob 
and it might be. I, I have found and used a lot of different video game OSTs on my channel. I think I may have found the greatest one of all time. Avocado Lanch, thank you very much. Yes, Binky B has watched the whole thing. But De, De Blob, I don't know what is going on with that game's soundtrack or, or why they went so unbelievably hard with it. But it's, it's one of those where, like, as soon as I heard, like, the first note, I was like, oh. I, did, I got all excited. It's very funky. It is incredibly funky. Okay, let me catch up on all these alerts. Uh, Avocado Lanch, thank you for gifting five to the community. Very kind of you. SMO, I can't help it. You are not the father, but you have to pay me. What? No, you just admitted. Okay, take me to court. I got all the evidence right there. Decred. Wah wah woo whoo. I can't wait for our picture together with our Twitch baby. Look, maybe we should get a picture together because then I can prove that it is not mine. Jake from State Farm, thank you for 14 months. I had the baby aborted before it was even born. Fell down the stairs. It's oh, that's dark. <laughs> that's, that's dark. You, now, I don't want to take care of my Twitch babies, but I don't want to wish the worst upon them. Ink Knighted, thank you for nine months. Mephodius, thank you for eight months. Been binge watching VOD since I found you like four months ago. Ace, I appreciate that very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you, kind sir. Loving the content. Greetings from rainy Manchester, UK. Emmy, thank you very much for two months. Manchester, UK. I want to get out to the UK at some point. I've never been to Europe. I've left the Midwest like a collective ten times in my life. If even that many times, honestly, is Denver, is Colorado even like like that's Mountain West. But honestly, it feels hybrid. Like, I feel like it could swing both ways. You know, it, it could play for both teams and it could pass as either Midwest or Mountain West. Colorado is not I know I know it's not technically midwest i know it's mountain west i i get that and and i understand it plays for that team but i just i don't know it's a it's a feeling kind of thing what's your opinion of how fun meowser's the fisty cat is so far uh well it is out of pocket not meowser's not quite I also play for both teams. <laughs> Denver doesn't feel like the mid. Uh, you, you you might be right. You might be right. Okay, I I went to Denver last summer very briefly. Did not spend a lot of time in Denver. Every all right. Shiv is going to take us all on a field trip to Stillborn Cave. <laughs> you know what? No, no. Okay, our Twitch babies. We will deliver them. All right. I just won't promise to take care of them. Thank you, kind sir. Can you say Kai and Koa are good kids? Kai and Koa are good kids. Kai and Koa, if you behave yourself, if, if, if you are on your best behavior this year, Santa will not leave any coal under the tree. Um, but I went to Denver this past summer, and the vibe I got from it, it was very brief, all right? Don't jump down my throat about this one, okay? This is just surface-level takeaways I got from a very brief time in Denver. We weren't really even in Denver. Actually, I'm wearing one of the shirts I got from a brewery uh, in Arvada. It's close to Denver, but we did take an Uber to Denver on one of the days. But when I saw the skyline of Denver, my first impression was that it reminds me of Des Moines but with like a football stadium and professional sports. That's what it reminded me of. I have to go to dentist today. Long road of, ooh, best of luck. The you know what? The dentist can, can suck if you have like a big thing done, but it could also be dope. My sister recently, she's been going through dental school, dental hygiene school. So she'll be a dental hygienist. If you're not familiar with the, 
Roll the dental hygienist, please. When you go to the dentist and you have the first person, the nice person that does your initial cleaning before the scary doctor with the zoom in enhanced goggles where he can see every single little crevice before that guy comes in and starts really harshly judging you. He's like stabbing your gums. All right, you must not be flossing that guy. So she'll be she'll be the, you know, nice lady before the much more aggressive doctor, you know, later in the day could be male or female. Kind of, I'm assuming a lot of things here, but the cool thing about her being in school is that she needs the she needs like test patients to go in. Thank so I got like counsel. a I got like a really cheap hey, cleaning you. done. Just finished day three. I was able to get. Night. Please keep Benor alive. Maybe give we him will. some healing pots. I do plan on keeping Benor alive, but unfortunately, I can't give him healing pots. Uh. But yeah, it has been nice. I granted it's a bit of a far drive to get to her school, but I have been able to go now. I got a cleaning. I got, you know, some x-rays. I got, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but they put some kind of protective thing on my teeth the last time I went there. And it's all just so she can like, you know, practice and get really good at it. Not not quite fluoride, although I did get some of that. Just finished day three, Vod, last night. Please keep Ben around. Oh, I, I, I listened to that. But JT Samps, thank you very much for three months. Thank you, kind sir. Robot Twinkie, thank you again for six months. Space Limits, thank you for the bits. T. Anthra, thank you for 11 months. And then I'll let this one play out. Thank you, kind sir. Wow, a whole year. And Junior here is already three months, asking why they only see Daddy on the screen. Twitch baby's growing up so fast. I had to think about that for a second. A first impression, I was just listening to that, and I go, wait, 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 hold on. You don't actually have children <laughs> that are watching the screen going, look, it's Daddy again. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. I, I, I am not responsible enough to have that level of influence over somebody's family. No, please. Anyway, hold on. Let me let me find it. Not quite. Okay, so I, I'm going to find the De Blob song I put in here. Yeah. Give me a second here. Let me get the speedrun timer set up. We'll jump back into the game. Thank you, kind sir. But like, why did they go so hard? It's a children's game about changing the colors of blocks. It's like the precursor to Splatoon. And this is what they cooked up? It's fantastic. Okay, we were at 11 hours, 47 minutes. another insane one as well I found another insane soundtrack the other day and it was for a game called Gentleman's Club 2002 or something like that it's a it's a rhythm game about strippers <laughs> but the soundtrack is actually pretty good and the like cover art of the game is insane I swear remember what the Thank name of it was tell me how you're finding these again okay so the youtube channel i usually find tunes on rings of geonosis and then i sort by playlist and i try to find uh i try to find the uh 
you know, I just look for different games. And then obviously, like I clicked on this one, the name of the game was wild and the box art was insane. So I had to click on it. And then I realized, hmm, it's actually not all that bad. Zinex19, thank you for the prime. Also, what does it matter? Uh, maybe I was, you know what? Maybe I was looking for a casual gentleman's club video game because I am a gentleman and I was looking for an immersive experience for a fancy gentle fellow like myself. Who are you all to judge me for that, hmm? Hmm? Maybe, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'm just sophisticated and I have achieved a level of gamer that the rest of the world just isn't prepared for. Okay? What show is it? What sh what uh oh my gosh is is the movie I'm thinking of Mystery Team where they go to a strip club but it's a gentleman's club and the characters are such morons that they dress up in top hats, three-piece suits and monocles to go to the strip club. And they're like, hmm, thank you for bringing us to this fine establishment, sir. Does anybody remember that movie? So when I was in high school, the movie Mystery Team was like a big deal. It was a bit it was a big deal among, you know, my friends. We really liked that movie. It was a uh, Childish Gambino, Donald Glover uh, and the Derek comedy crew. They used to do like YouTube sketches and whatnot. And then shortly after that, they blew up or. Donald Glover blew up into a triple A, you know, Hollywood actor and community and music and all that kind of stuff. Laskio, thank you for the tier one. All right, we should be good. Donald Glover, the guy from Lethal Weapon? What? No, <laughs> no. All right, there we go. Got the recording going. My best video game jazz recommendation is the Ridge Racer 4 OST. Uh, if you are in the Discord, toss that into... Um, toss that into the uh, Stream Tunes channel on the Discord server. Ridge Racer 4. If that link to the Discord does not work, then shoot. Online services are disabled. No. How could you? Video game jazz peaked at Halo ODST. No, no, jazz peaked with this. Hold on, I've never seen a child carrying a pot like that. Does ODST have jazz? Speaking of jazz, um... Did you guys know Need something? that the music... Why does the speedrun timer look weird? Doesn't that look weird? Lined up like that? How did I not notice this last time? I feel like it should be... Like, right here. Oh, that looks so much better. <laughs> it's like the smallest change ever, but it just scratched my brain in the correct area. Um... Speaking of jazz, did you guys know that in Star Wars, the music that they play, the did you know that that genre of music in lore is called jizz and the musicians are called jizz whalers? I don't know if this is 100% true. I'm pretty sure it's true. But I think they updated the lore and they retconned. I mean, it makes sense. It makes it makes sense because it's ridiculous. But I think they retconned it and changed it to jazz or or juzz. Juzz? No, I don't think they changed it to juzz. That's a joke in The Simpsons I'm thinking about where Bart takes very little interest in Lisa's jazz hobby, calls it juzz, and she gets really upset. But they retconned it and they changed the name from jizz. And I'm pretty sure it's just jazz now. My boyfriend and I watch your VOD channel all the time. This is my first time catching a live stream, but my break ended five minutes ago, so I hope you have a great stream. Day nine. Tell your boyfriend I said hello, and thank you both for watching the VOD channel. 
Lucas was not thinking when he made that choice. I'm pretty sure he was very conscious of it. Um, okay, so let's do a little progress check from where we last ended. We spent a lot of time last stream literally talking about nothing. We talked about White Castle. We talked about my <laughs> my excursion to a White Castle bathroom. We talked about Vegas. We talked about uh, all sorts of random nonsensical things last time while I grinded Illusion to 76. I don't think Illusion... I mean, maybe we'll use some Illusion skills. They are pretty good, especially with uh, Ordinator combined with the Apocalypse spells we have in our game. I mostly wanted to grind illusion very high because it's easy and I wanted to get my total level a bit higher so we could buff things like magicka, health, stamina. Magicka seems like the most important one for us to buff though. We also did a bit of, I'm surprised alterations all the way at 40, but we got restoration to 43. It's a pain to grind restoration. We ended up getting this spell called putrefy via a perk. Healing spells also restore stamina. We're going to take that. While in combat, you may cast targeted healing spells and effects on enemies to inflict damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to take this. So this, this, this perk right here. While in combat, you may cast targeted healing spells and effects on enemies to inflict damage equal to 75% of the heal amount. So what that tells me, if we have a follower which right now we have Benor, unless Benor somehow mysteriously died the last time I played this. I don't think he's dead. But if Benor is in the middle of a really tense combat situation, I can heal him and kind of indiscriminately aim at everything. Because if I hit Benor, it heals him. If I hit the enemies, it'll do some damage and help him out. That's actually really, really great for our playstyle. There he is. Okay, he's still alive. He's not injured anymore. He lost the little sash that was on his face. That's good. I need to get some food. We're good on money, I believe. Yeah. Voice crack. We had a dragon attack town. Literally, it died right there. So we were able to just shovel all of our stuff to the general store here. Let's knock a little bit of grinding out. Just shore up our skills a little bit more. So I'm feeling a bit more confident. And then we might be able to jump into that first Dawn Guard quest. Need a room? For a challenge, you Drink for the thirsty, place. food for the hungry. But the selection of food here is just awful. Mm -hmm. We are using our one inventory slot right now. One sec. Put on some damn clothes already. Boom! Problem solved. Look at that. It's the fastest anybody's ever responded. Why are you up on top of the... Leave Sam Thank alone. Time, sir. Juvie juve, good to catch you live. He wants to have a, a perfectly normal drink. He's chilling at the pub. And you got this asshole standing up. What is that face? He's like... It's like he doesn't understand why I'm criticizing him. He's got... Okay, that... Make it quick. Please, Irene, we're in the middle of a staring contest here. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from Old Warwick said. Quick, Benor, staring contest, go. Ragnar did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of both battles and bulls he had made. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said. Does nobody in this world blink? Did I blink? Okay, we gotta get out of here. She's terrible. I lose. You win, Benor. Whew. She is really awful to listen to. Yeah, I was going easy on her at first. I was a little bit forgiving. Not anymore. Thank you, kind sir. We're back to it, though. Which is more exciting? Being pregnant with my Twitch baby or my real baby. I wonder why that activated. Wait, there's an enemy. Is it another dragon? Oh my god, if there's another dragon attack in Dawnstar, this is fantastic. 
Our healing spell is quite cheap as well. Let's, I want to test how much stamina it regens. Oh, that's just brilliant. That is so useful for combat. Oh yeah, no, 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 we're going. Okay, let's do this. I just have to make sure that Benor doesn't get himself killed. But if we move, uh, we want to try and kill the dragon as... Okay, okay, whoa, 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 hey, oh, blood, oh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. It's a blood dragon. <gasps> uh, this is a problem. I might actually be dead here. Woo! Woo that was close. We're good. We're alive. We're alive. All right, all right. Everybody, just chill the fuck out, okay? I just gotta keep an eye on him. We gotta keep Benner alive, though. That doesn't work if the song has lyrics. <laughs> it's distracting. Yeah, Benner took some good damage there. Wait, I'm making you angry? Is that a second dragon? I'm completely lost right now. Uh, we need this dragon to land. He's taking a lot of damage, though. Come here. Yeah, no, 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 no. you're not going anywhere. I really need this dragon to land. Of course it felt good, Benor. I'm your friend. Friendship always feels good. This is so awkward, just running around town playing support. It's just a waiting game until he gets down. Don't turn off Sonic. I'm sorry, I had to, I had to feel, uh, I don't know, I had to focus in. It's too early for me to, you know, lock in like that. Benor, please do not, no, do not chase him on your own. You're gonna get us both killed. Oh my God. Oh, okay. He's fighting a troll. This is also a problem if Venor decides to fight this troll. Never mind, troll's dead. Okay, this could be bad. We're gonna oak flesh back up. Blood for uh, blood dragon is almost dead. Let's try this putrefy ability. Haven't used it yet. Don't have enough. Holy shit, it's expensive. And Benor gets the killing blow. Dragon is now dead. 258. Mm, that's big. Big time. All the way up to 1500. Thank you, kind sir. KG. Baby Rion was aborted today. No more Hagraven appointments. Baby Rion. What? Guys, guys. St wait, hold on. No, stop. Stop getting rid of the Twitch babies. I'll grab my armor later. Let's sell off the bones, take our dub. Not really sure how impactful mag or, uh, gold is, other than buying spells. That's nice. But I guess if we want to situationally, it could be good to buy an enchanted weapon to disenchant something, to buy a set of enchanted robes, both because some of them are drippy, it really depends on how we want to fill that one inventory slot.
Find the courier, hit him, and do healing hands on him. I think we have a pretty good grinding method of jumping into the furnace. It's really stupid, but it, it is effective. Literally playing as a medic in Battlefield. I That is my favorite class to play in Battlefield. Speaking of Battlefield, I saw recently uh, that they announced that the newest Battlefield game will uh, also come packaged with a free-to-play Battle Royale. And honest to God, it took 24 hours for my eyes to unroll themselves from the back of my skull. Why? Why? <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Just... Make Battlefield, damn it. Just make make a good Battlefield game with good classes, fun maps, and good destruction. There you go. And there's your formula. You figured it out 15 years ago. Like, that's all you need to do. But no, no you gotta have the, gotta have the free to play VR in there with a stupid battle pass. Yay! Hooray! Awesome! Woo! Like who? Who's pumped for that? Take a look. Who? Who in the boardroom heard that idea? That guy's really excited to get dragon scales. Who in the boardroom is sitting around and hears that idea? What if we? I have an idea. What if we did a free-to-play? Hear me out. Battle Royale. My Christ, Jason, that's brilliant! Promote this man! I have to wonder, where else would I go? All this news, of course, following. It was like the same, that, that news came out the exact same day as well. It was like, EA is laying off 700,000 employees. Like, nice. Nice! All right, I'm feeling good though. Not about the, <laughs> not about the devastating layoffs in the industry. About our gold, two thousand two hundred twenty-six. Again, really no clue how we're gonna spend it. Yeah, that's not to say the battle royales suck, you know. Like I enjoy if I'm down for a battle royale. There's already like 14 different options for me to, to for me to do that. I want to play like Fortnite if it sounds fun. I'm sure I'll have a great time playing Fortnite. But if I want to play Battlefield, I want to play Battlefield. If I want to play Halo, I want to play Halo. I want Helldivers 2 with a 16 person team. I do, yes. How amazing would uh, really large raids be in Helldivers? I feel like that game is just built to have an over the top huge battle. Now, performance would be probably an issue with that many players and that many airstrikes. But I think, like Helldivers is an amazing game. Sorry, it's kind of hard to talk and do all of this at the same time. I'm gonna just briefly for the moment, turn my game down while we grind some of this out. Just cause the sound effects are really distracting. Uh, but I feel like Helldivers is it's an amazing game, but it's one of those games where it's like, okay, all right, all right. What can, what can they do next? How can they kind of add on to this experience? And I think Helldivers would be sick if there was a game mode that was like, five minutes of prep time battle of hoth style you have to set up like turrets or even ai that kind of stuff like you prepare your defense and then at the end of whatever the prep time is it's just a non-stop like assault it's a war and you gotta you know go to war with your go to war with all your friends I know, Saren's helping us out. She's, she's replacing the hot coals and the hot metals. She's just crushed. Thank you for two months. 
So a wave survival mode? Not not exactly a, a, like a wave survival mode. I mean, I do think that the game, yeah, that, that would just be a cool like option, right? For some variety in the missions. I think that the missions are diverse enough, especially like for launch. But that would that would be like a little bit of extra sauce. Should I get a gaming PC for Helldivers? I'd sacrifice my firstborn son, Kai. Don't, well, don't sacrifice any of your children. Uh, should you buy a PC just for Helldivers? No. If you just want to play Helldivers, get a PlayStation. You know, I think in order to justify, like, getting a gaming PC, you would need to have, like, you know, a couple of other things. If it can benefit you in terms of gaming, you know, it depends on your budget. And restoration really is slow, though. Get a PC for Kenshi. What if I want to play Helldivers and Morrowind? Yeah, you're really only going to be able to play the best version of Morrowind on PC. The Xbox version of Morrowind is just not it. Hey, have any of you in chat played the Game Pass version of Morrowind recently? I gave it a brief try. It was a while ago, but I gave it a brief tr a try a while ago. And I would assume that there haven't been any changes to it because Bethesda is more interested in spending money on stupid fucking things like an Imagine Dragons collab <laughs> than they are like, you know, doing cool shit with their IP. Uh... But the, the Xbox version is night and day different than playing it on something like Open Morrowind or even with the Morrowind script extender and some just sort of basic quality of life mods on top of it. You really don't even need to overhaul the game that much. But yeah, if your jam is Morrowind and you want to play the best version possible of Morrowind, PC. Or maybe Steam Deck? I, ha I don't have a Steam Deck. I probably should get a Steam Deck, though. I played on Open Morrowind with my Sneak Deck. There you go. Like a mod that makes your attacks actually hit. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm -mm. No, no. No, 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 no. Hey, play, play the game, mod the game, however you want. But I think that this is a get good moment. You'll figure it out. You'll figure, you'll, you'll, you'll figure it out. You got this. I believe in you. Steam Deck is goaded for Skyrim Fall 476. So that, that's what I'm interested in. Like, you know, how do you even mod these games? What kind of programs does the Steam Deck run? I've never watched like a full video breakdown of how Steam Deck really works. But I know that people have modded these games on Steam Deck. Like, can this can the Steam Deck run FSR? It's a skill issue I correct with a mod. Okay, touche. I played all the way up to the sixth trial on Xbox and didn't really have any issues. Are you talking about? Well, here's here's where my completely empty knowledge of Morrowind past the mechanics of the game go. I assume you're still talking about Morrowind. Um, but yeah, I just, th I just think that like going from one experience to another is jarring. The new Xbox handheld is apparently trying to challenge the Steam Deck. We'll see how that goes. I st uh, yeah, I think I would just get a Steam Deck. I'm about to lose 30 minutes talking about my Morrowind experience. You know what? Hey, I'm okay with that. We're still just grinding away. Sorry, I just got here. Why are we four chopping? Uh, I'm trying to get my... What is my restoration? Oh, it's, it's only at 45. Restoration is just so slow. I even have the Mage Stone. I want to get restoration to 50, however.
No, that is totally fair. If you're like, you know what? I just want my weapons to hit every single attack. Hey, that's that's what you want to do. Go for it. That's why mods exist. Do you have restoration poison spells? So I have one. The spell called Putrefy. Got it from a perk. It's pretty expensive. I think once we get to 50, though, it'll be a tiny little bit cheaper. We might be able to level up again. I gotta be careful, though. Because the goal is to still go with a shield. Which means we're gonna get rid of our robes, which means our magicka is not gonna regen as fast. Should I have chicken burger or chicken breasts? Never really had a chicken burger. I don't think I've ever had a chicken burger. Is it like a ground? Is it like ground chicken formed into a patty cooked like a burger? I would say chicken breast though. If I had to pick between the two. Oh yeah, I guess a chicken patty. I've had a chicken patty. I was thinking like either, I was thinking of the prep. Tried to mod Skyrim because when I saw the menu mod you used, I wanted to give it a try, but can never get it to work. The menu mod, uh, like Sky UI or something different. If time travel existed, would you stream your first Skyrim playthrough or is that sacred? I don't know if Twitch was even around because I played Skyrim on release day on the Xbox 360 and all of its <laughs> 25 to 30 FPS glory. It might have been Twitch probably was just in TV at the time, right? But then that begs the question, when did Justin TV start? Von Channel Watcher here. Glad to finally be able to catch a stream. Glad to have you here, Cedric Hawk. How are you? Justin TV for sure. 2007. That's wild. You know what my first stream was? Actually. So I remember when I was 16, 17, 18. I think I would have been 17 at the time that this happened. But I loved I loved watching Markiplier because I always really enjoyed watching somebody go through these very niche experimental horror games that I would be far too afraid to even play on my own. And I really enjoyed it and, you know, had a great voice, all that stuff. But I was very like inspired by that. I mean, I've, t I've credited so many different creators for like inspiring me, but I guess the very first stream I ever did in my life ever was Markiplier because I would have been 17 and I remember setting up a laptop that I had. I'm trying to think the setup I had, it was so janky and it was just like kind of a joke stream not really even a joke stream like i totally was like oh this shit's gonna blow up <laughs> and i don't remember the name of the game i played though it was a horror game it was very similar to amnesia in a way but it wasn't and i think the only person watching the stream was one of my best friends he put it on the living room tv of his house and his dad was like hey look hey you know it's it's your friend. He's he's a celebrity. What's he doing on the TV? He did, it was just was like such a new thing, not Outlast. It it wasn't Outlast. It was it was it was very very indie. You know, it it was one of those horror games where it had one maybe two gimmicks. Penumbra? No, I would recognize the name if I heard it. I want to say it started with a V. I want to say Vanquish, but no. Vanquish, I think, is a third-person shooter that I have never played. 
not Slenderman. It, it's it's not a game that like popped off and ended up in the indie horror zeitgeist. Blair Witch? No, Blair Witch was too new. Gosh, only at 48. Visage? Vanish? Those those both sound right. Those those actually both sound pretty. <laughs> The Skyrim, Vortnite. The second result was a Markiplier wiki. Yeah, that makes sense. Visage is quite new. Vanish. But there's also a lot of single word indie titles. Twenty thirteen, the player is thrown against their will into an underground labyrinth sewer for reasons unknown. Okay, so the game took place in a sewer. It was in a sewer. I remember that. Uh, the gameplay, I think, was you would go around the sewer. I think it was one of those games where the gimmick was if you look at the monster, they can kill you. We back to this just for a little bit more. Once we get to fifty restoration, we're done with this grinding. The Twitch channel's B day was this month. Was it really? Is that the game where Mark was scared by the steam events? That sounds right. That sounds pretty close. Where's the blacks? Uh, he's right over here. Just banging away on steel wool or something. What is that thing that they're always banging on? The NPCs. A metal plate? Just a generic piece of metal? Oh my gosh. We're almost there. One more level after this one. Oh, where is the... You weren't actually asking where the blacksmith is? How am I supposed to catch that reference? Do you think this is an OSHA violation? Or is this just a crazy person in town keeps running past their security? Favorite FPS of all time? Whew. That's a really tough one. Favorite first person shooter of all time. I would say probably, I, I, I don't know if I could pick just one. I would have to say in terms of like the period that they came out in and what was kind of going on in life and the people that I played them with, I would say a lot of them are circumstantial, but the ones that I have by far the most fond memories with are Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 1, because when Battlefield 1 came out, I was a junior in college, and my friends and I would always pass the controller around, and Battlefield 1 was just so unique and just cinematic and awesome. It just was so cool. Halo Reach... I would definitely put Halo Reach on there. Halo 3, probably a better overall game. But I would say Halo Reach just because the people that I was playing with and kind of the memories around that game for me are iconic. Um, Is Metro Exodus technically a first person shooter? Or is that more something else? Will you play Sons of the Forest? Probably not. I don't have... I mean, I guess now it's at full release, right? It's got, like, all the actual cutscenes and whatnot. Some more monsters. I was kind of disappointed in the early access version of Sons of the Forest. 
it's first person and you shoot. I would I would probably put Metro Exodus in there. I really, really loved that game. I, I loved it a lot. I mean, I guess. I mean, there's like the obvious ones, Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4. They're just like the, the 3D Fallout games are some of my favorite games of all time. I don't know if I would put them in the same like first person shooter sort of range though as as the others that I was talking about. I'm thinking more like traditional multiplayer first person shooters. Don't Thank die. You, kind sir. Okay, we're almost done. It's kind of strange that, yeah, Bad Company 2 was 12v12. There we go. Like, Bad, Bad Company 2 was not 32v32, but it still felt larger than life. All right, we're back. We are very back. We're, we're most of the way back. All right, we had a little bit of a stumble there. We were playing really poorly. Now we have some decent stats. We're not totally useless. We're still very disadvantaged because of the, you know, the whole no armor deal that we're going with. I'm gonna stock back up on food, get some sleep, buy a shield, and... I guess we dive into that vampire cave? No. For a challenge. Need a room? The right place. Sure thing. It's yours for a I'll show you to your room. Right this Part of me thinks that it's a better idea. Ooh. Until now, let me know if there's anything else you need. Do we go for Spellbreaker now? No. No, sp I'm not going to be able to beat the boss. Take a look. No food. Damn, this guy's pissing me off. Terrible selection of food. I've been in town for so long too, I've already stolen all the free food. My children all grew up and left Dawnstar to make their fortune. I don't know, are, are there any other places I can even buy food here? I guess the general store. Skyrim in tier list? We should. Honestly, I've been thinking about it. We should do some more like bullshit segments of a stream where I can upload it to the second channel as like its own thing instead of being part of, you know, a six hour stream. What time is it? 7.40? Come on, it's 7.40 a.m. Open up. I'm hungry. Get out of bed. Need something? Take a look. Ah, thank you. Okay, they're open at all hours. Good, see, this is what a good businessman look, you only have one leg of roast. I need more. I'm a hungry, growing boy. Mm -hmm. I guess Catwoman. What are you doing that for? Well, because I want it. That's why. <laughs> is that really a complicated question? Is it like, is it hard to understand what's happening here? Hey, hey, that's my wallet. What? Well, why are you digging? Well, the. Okay, we got some hunger back. What else do they have here? Damn, damn. Got a nice setup in here. Ooh, wait a minute. Three fire salts. Let's keep tabs on that. I still think I want to get married. And if we were able to collect a stack of 10 fire salts to get Ballymond to marry us and subsequently give us free food and money. Sorry, gotta run. Spellbreaker isn't possible with one inventory slot. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, that's right, because in order to start the quest, you have to donate. You have to donate to the statue. That's right, we talked about that. So then the question becomes, can you individually hand over the items or do all three have to be in your inventory at the same time? I'm going to assume all three have to be in there. That complicates things a bit. I need to get a shield. Imperial 
they'll think us all lawless beasts. Um, I missed a couple things. Uh, third still sun. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you for the prime. First time in stream, but thank you for creating the VOD channel. I appreciate it. PJ, no problem. Good morning. Thank you, Colin, sir. Almost one whole year. Yes. Take a look. One year. Thank you. Is that uh, Death31? Thank you for 11 months. Appreciate you hanging out. Thank you, kind sir. Ooh, hold on. This is actually kind of nice. Okay, because of our leveling, we're now getting stuff like Elven. We're getting stuff like Elven in the shop. Is it worth the extra defense? 23 armor versus 16? Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, I. I Wait, before that, take a look. Let's sell the armor, or sell the robes. Mm -hmm. and then, for the most part, we get the shield for free. Thank you, kind sir. Hi, everyone. Deck Taurus. Thank you for three months. Hello, right back to you. Everybody, say hi to Deck Taurus. Be nice to them. All right, let's test it. If we have full stats, Logging full magic, full stam. Glad I got a chance to tune in. Thank you for being so cool and awesome, and for having great hair. <laughs> Cedric, I appreciate the hair compliment more than anything. I've been thinking I need a haircut. Does equipment you're using count towards the one item slot? Yes, yes. Thank we can time, only sir. have, other than keys and gold, one item, regardless of its use, at any time in our inventory. Uh, I mean, this area of the map is a bit dangerous. I feel like if I want to do some block grinding, I need to be in this section of the map. I spent so much time in that part of the map, though. And I'm already I'm already all the way out here. Um, We could take on. I know a dungeon. I think I can stand a chance. Yeah, let's let's check up here the only problem is it's gonna get really cold there's a dungeon up here with a bunch of silver hand that dog just fell out of the sky where was that a goat it's kind of a dog anyway let's see what we got here that's pretty good Okay, putrefy. Not too bad. I don't think it heals me at all. I think up there is a bunch of ice wraiths. We're gonna avoid them. As a zoologist, I can confirm that a goat is a kind of dog. Well, good. I'm glad we finally have some scientists in chat. I make a lot of claims, and I need people to, you know... <laughs> keep me keep me on track, you know fact check me live hit me with that community note Just had the best interview of my life at my alma mater Am alma mater fingers crossed. I get it Emily best of luck Everybody in chat send Emily well wishes now do it Congratulations on the interview. I hope it goes well There we go. Hit the rabbit with the plague real quick. Statue of Sirabane. Okay, now I feel like this mod is just adding things that don't exist. It's just making things up. Y you can't just add your own stuff to the lore. All right, it doesn't make sense. Rabbit death counter. We have that in the stats. Isn't it in combat? Yeah, bunny slaughtered, five. What kind of range does this have? Wow, it's got really good range. And we get the auto cast from uh, Akato's recital. The deer just died. This is kind of crazy, right? I mean, we go from long range, bubonic plague. Akato's recital automatically gives us armor. That puts our armor rating at 
143 from one cast from entering combat every time combat starts enemy dies i didn't have to do anything i do nothing this is an afk build does that mean i can stealth snipe <laughs> okay if i can hit him from this range this is going to be one of the wildest builds we've ever had No fucking way. I'm a stealth archer, but with disease in my hand. Do you imagine sniping someone with COVID? Like from a distance? <laughs> Just be like, yeah. <laughs> this is so good. I don't even need block anymore. The hell am I using this stupid shield for? No way. From a distance, I hit you with the power of licking 15 public doorknobs. Oh, hold on. We missed. So theoretically, I can just sit back here and disease this poor guy. Oh, that sucks. He's got no clue. On, he goes down. <laughs> He's got no clue what hit him. He was sitting there on guard duty, watching out for his buddies. Whew. Man, it's a little bit chilly out here. <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> Is Jason okay? Not the, why, why do I keep using the name Jason? Is Ethan okay? <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick. Ethan, we all know you're incredibly sick. No, not like that. Okay, so now every time we go into combat, that's going to throw on... Hit him with a little of that bubonic sauce. Shield bash stumble. Come on. I don't think Benor's dying anytime soon. We got this. Oh, this poor... You, yeah, nice use of your cure disease potion. Honestly, you deserve it at that point. How am I hungry again? Do Khajiit get hungrier faster? Or is there like a hidden mechanic in here I'm missing? Okay, so we have two. Can it be active on two targets at once? No shot, they see me. The door, they, the, they detect me better with the door closed? Shield bash, plague, he misses. Benor is just crazy. Okay, I still got to be careful. I'm going to get myself killed if I'm not. You're making me angry. Benner, you are making me happy. This? Okay. All right, we've got a little bit of a build forming now. We've got some camaraderie. The shield is communicating with my hand. The spells. We're starting to get something going here been through this dungeon about a bajillion times I will say though the impact of the spell is a little underwhelming see like I kind of wish I was him <laughs> like, I kind of wish I was swinging the giant hammer that looks a little bit more impactful or this just kind of, you know, <clears throat> starts making their fingers, you know, fall off. They start rotting from the inside out. Which, like, that's cool. Thematically, it's pretty epic. Slow them down. I mean, we just put them in the blender. It's a spin cycle of disease. Benor with the finishing shot. 
Am I even getting restoration XP though? Oh yeah, okay, we're almost already at 51. Ah, oh, damn. Any lockpicks nearby, that'd be nice. We have to get the tower. I keep forgetting to get the tower stone. Off the top of anyone's head, do you know where the tower stone is? There goes Resto 51. Oh, I just took an arrow to the face. Not good. How does that get through and still almost one shot me? Mind you, mind you, that's a nearly a one-shot kill with a 143 armor rating. More gold. Leveling up is also just great for us because now we're finding way more gold on bodies. 51. Even more. Gonna be close to three grand soon. Yeah, 2400. Sorry, I, I, I asked you guys where it was. And then I like completely looked away to keep killing things. By Winterhold Dawnstar, northern coast near Winterhold. Uh, is it east of Winterhold? Let's be careful here. We're finally starting to cook. We're finally starting to, you know, nail some enemies and take them down. But let's not get dumb. There's going to be one or two high level enemies in this dungeon that can completely screw this run. Let's get, I'm going to get a little crafty here though. Oh no. Benor, are you okay? I can't tell what Benor's health is. Why are you pulling out your bow now? That's like the worst tactical option you could have pulled out. Okay, thankfully the sword is on the trap, so it shouldn't trigger. Come on, Benny. I about got him killed. Almost. Can I really bash both? Need that block XP. Uh, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a bound sword. That's gonna do some really good damage. We gotta watch out for that enemy. Benor's probably hurt. Or not. Or Benor is just a savage and he's gonna kill everything in his path. Oh my god, he's going crazy. Get him, Benor! You don't even need my help. You got this. What have I done? I think I've created a monster. I'm second guessing my loyalty to Benor. He's too powerful. Do we have any disease right now? I don't think so. Yeah, no, we're good. It's always worth keeping an eye on that though. Sometimes they sneak up on you. Does a bound weapon count as an inventory item? I haven't tried. I would think so. Is it? Wait, can I talk to you? Hello. If I unlock this, the, the werewolf is going to kill me, right?
He'll attack. What? I'm not letting him out then. Damn, that is still just insane damage. You're allowed to attack, Benor. You're allowed to swing your hammer. Benor, please. Benor, please. Why is he not? Swing your sword, dude. Okay, Benner is going to get himself killed because he's, for some reason, being like, he's a coward right now. Stop it. There you go. There you go. Took way, way too much damage. Much more than I'm comfortable with. Do not like that. That doesn't that doesn't bode well for us. There's one in this room. Whoop. Oh, two. Okay, hit him with my stealth puke juice. That's not good. Gotta be careful though. If they can do that damage to me, what can they do to Benor? Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Swing. You're making me angry. Whew, I thought the archer got me. All right. Benor might be able to handle that. Let's push this archer. Dwarven arrow. Okay, that explains it. I might have given myself a slight disadvantage in terms of the individual damage that some weapons might do to me. Because, you know, my player level, some of the bandits are going to have dwarven or higher tier stuff. But the dwarven arrow, that explains a lot. Honestly, they might have killed me if I didn't shield bash there. Next level up, we got to go for health. This is a problem. Uh, shoot. Okay, this could actually be... We gotta think about this. This is... <laughs> okay, so we got three of them. That guy coming in through the door, though, he's got a lot of things equipped that I don't like. Look closely. Enchanted, if that's a dagger, we might be okay. But... Dwemer, Dwarven Shield, he's got Orcish on, he's high level, you've got some steel right here, and in the back you have an archer that probably has the same tier of arrows as the last one that almost one-shot us. So we probably want to fall back. Keep our boy. He's got a good position here. Yeah, one down. Thank you, Colin, sir. They are using a dagger. Okay, so their reach is going to be really bad. Luckily, they're not using good arrows in back, so we should be all right. Burned all my magic, though. Back to healing hands. Let's hope. Stay alive. There's a stupid swing. Come on. You got this. boy. Two more. Dude, nice. Big, oh shit, 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 shit. No, he's hurt. Shot in the eyeball. <laughs> You're good. Come on. It's a, just a flesh wound. Rub some dirt on it. Of course, we made it all the way to the end of the fight, only for him to get shot in the forehead. Ooh. 
die for that. Would you hurry up, Benor? Dude, Benor? I don't know what you're playing at here. Thank you. Was that hard? Was that so hard? We almost lost him. Very good dungeon, though. We didn't die. Most importantly, Benor didn't die. Another free block skill. You smell that? <laughs> That's progress. Oh, good call. Good fucking call. Yeah, let's upgrade Benor's gear. Whoo. That is a massive call out. Thank you. Huge. Massive. Ultra large. We've got Orcish Plate here. Alright, this is gonna take a little bit. <laughs> Bear with me while we maneuver this over to his... Oh, I look cool, though. Like, I'm rocking this. Is it enchanted? I think that's Oak Flesh. Get going. What do you need to take? Take the Orcish Plate. I will take the Steel Armor. Well, actually, it'll just... Let's go. It'll flop onto the ground, but Orcish plate helmet. I'm still here. What do you need to take? I don't think he can wear a helmet with that injury. At least I think that that's what's going on. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Let's go. We go. You know what? I'm going to take the Dwarven Shield. This is going to be mine. Orcish Mace. I don't think he'd be more accurate with the Mace. Definitely not with the Dagger. That would be a waste. I am, though. I'm going to take the Dwarven Shield. I think it looks cooler as well. My arm doesn't really look cool clipping through it. But we'll take that. Another skill book. Oh my gosh. All this progress, I don't know what to do with it. It's like my hands are full of success, and it's like, eventually at some point, I'll have so much success in my lap that some of it's going to spill off to the sides. Benor has a high two-handed skill. That's a good barometer, though, that dungeon. Benor does look a lot cooler, though. I don't. <laughs> I don't really have the ability to look cool. But at least I have Benny. That was a good dungeon, though. That was kind of a good barometer to sort of see where our power level is at. But now it's, like, a bit confusing. I don't think that the Putrefy spell is all that great. If things get chaotic, it's not very good in combat. We need a bit more shield perks. What can we get for block? When can we start getting power bashing and whatnot? 40, 50. Power bashing with a weapon infuriates living targets for 30 seconds. They won't free, flee from combat, but can't regenerate stamina. You lose 15 points of stamina per second, and you take no damage from their attacks during a timed blow. Oh, okay, that's really good. Interrupting an attack with a power bash with a shield knocks the attacker to the ground. I need that. I need that. But it costs 80 block. I don't know if we'll be able to get to 80 block by the end of this. I think we want to be going northeast. The tower stone, are, are y'all saying, oh, isn't it? Isn't it on one of these islands? 
If you accidentally get a quest item, run is dead. No, we can drop them. My only worry is freezing to death. I'd really like to not do that. Preferably when going through the cold tundra in wilderness. This might be a hot take, but I actually think it's really important to stay warm. Like if I was in Antarctica or Siberia, I think it would be very good, you know, to, to be warm. I, w I wouldn't want... Maybe frostbite is a delicacy in some places and in some cultures, but I'm actually afraid of it. I'd, <laughs> I don't know. This might be controversial. Ooh, horse meat. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy. You feel better? Whoa, wait. Why'd that give me so much stamina back? Easy, careful. Okay, let's send a diseased goat out towards the saber cat. All right, the diseased goat will go out there and play bait. The goat is now dead. Let's wait for the saber cat to go after it. Oh my God, the saber cat. That looked like a move. He's doing something. He sees something. I don't have that range. It's a really stupid idea for me to try to take on a saber cat, right? Oh, he is. He's going after the goats. All right, before that goat starts to move towards me, let's get out of here. What mod is the COVID missile spell from? It's uh, Think Ordinator. It could be a combo though between Ordinator and Apocalypse. God, I took the worst route ever. These footsteps. It's like a new suite of uh, splappy footstep sounds. Do you guys ever have that moment during a day where you start to think like about a dream you had last night or like your memory of a dream that you had last night actually starts to hit you just like randomly throughout the day because right now the memories of the dream that I had last night are actually flooding back to me and this is a weird one so last night I had a dream that I started a series that was kind of tongue-in-cheek a lot of times on, on stream, people will make jokes where, like, if I start drinking water or something, like, you know, something like that, and the microphone accidentally picks up some extra glugs, people will be like, oh, ASMR, water drinking ASMR, or Skyrim reading ASMR, just random different stuff like that. So in this dream, I actually started doing, like, 90-minute streams that were ASMR related as like kind of a joke, but also kind of an excuse for me to essentially do a Skyrim Let's Play where I just whisper. I'm like, okay, and now we will be taking the Tower Stone. That means our buff on Magicka skill increases is now gone, but we finally have the ability, we finally have the ability to unlock chess. Look at those physics. Those physics are just fucking hilarious. Who would- Ah! Ah! <laughs> you 
poor bird! I forgot it won't go in my inventory. It just flops out. <laughs> anyway, back to the... See, I could never do it. It's, it is not feasible. Something stupid is going to happen, and I'll scream. I could never do a stream like that. Did I say scream or stream? Same... Benor! Benor! Why? What happened? What? Where? What? In the fuck? What? In the one? What? Get, where did he? What did he get? Where? Ha? I'm quit. I'm never playing this game again. What happened? Where did he go? Wait, I need an explanation here. Did he go after the saber cat? I have no idea where he is. <gasps> You've got to be shitting me. Impossibly bad. The worst possible outcome. <laughs> it, it, I'm okay with him dying. Not knowing where or how he died? We have to go find him. New goal. Investigate Benor's death. This is terrible. As a giant storm kicks in, I'm naked. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, we need to find cover. There's a cave over here. Let's try to get into this cave before we freeze to death. This is really bad. This is like the worst part of the map to be stuck in while naked. Now I'm freezing. Okay, we are in fact dying. Shit, shit, shit. No, we cannot die here. If we die here, Benor probably despawns. We lose him forever. The problem is, though, is this cave... What level of the ground is it on? Is it... Okay, Frostflow Lighthouse. We gotta get to the light... Oh, shoot. I have to reroute all the way up here. This is a really big problem. We're currently at 61 health. I'm gonna run out of... Ooh, hold on. I can refill my stamina. That's good. That's big time. Sabercat, wolf... Shh. Shoot, what is it in front of me? This is really bad. Oh my god, this is dramatic. Whew. I know the lighthouse is scary. There's gonna be an enemy or something in there. The the lighthouse though, I don't I think the centipedes are in the basement of the lighthouse. They're just basic wolves, they're level one wolves. We can take them on. Zap and move. Fry and move. How's our health? 48? It's all the way down to 48 already. We're dead. We're toast. I took the worst route possible. Come on. I can see the lighthouse from here. How we doing on health? Health check, 34. This is gonna be a really close call. Come on, Todd, let me up the mountain. I am numb. Uh, it's never good if the condition you're in is a Linkin Park song. Heart's beating. I'm frostbitten. Get up on the rock. Thank you, Todd. I can't see. I'm blind. It's freezing cold. Where's Benor? Not only am I heartbroken, but I'm freezing cold. Oh my god, we're in. Nice. Now I can relax to the soothing, calming sounds of multi-legged creatures in the basement. Mmm, <laughs> very soothing. I am not interested in any of the mysteries here. I'm gonna crawl into the fire pit. I've never been happier to be here. JK98, thank you for seven months. You feel warmer but still freezing, so I think frostbite might be a condition that lasts 24 hours. It only affects lockpick and pickpocket. While we're here, let's check.
All right, so once a day, we can unlock an expert level lock. That's pretty nice. Looks like this place has some food. That's good. Okay, so we'll just take one of the beds here. Cannot sleep on... <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. That's really... Honestly. Right. So I can't even sleep out the storm. I'm going to have to sit here. I can't take on the chorus. No, not happening. We'll wait out the storm for a little bit. We'll do some recon. I'm finding Benor's dead body. He must have died at some point when I took that weird route and I went off the cliff. I wonder if he tried to go around. Because, okay, I'm trying to, like, I'm thinking deep into my memory banks. When we first passed the lighthouse, I looked at the goat. We watched the goat. We saw the saber cat chase one of the goats. It did look like that goat's pathing was coming a bit closer towards us. So then I decided, all right, we're going to reroute, you know, Google map style changing route. Taking new exit. Benor's mind, though, he wasn't hooked up to the same system that we had. He had a different GPS in mind. He was probably on, like, Apple Maps or something. So when I jumped off the cliff, he probably continued through that valley and got pretty close to where we originally saw the Saber Cat. Probably got into one on one combat with the Saber Cat. Lost because he's an idiot. That's my theory. He tried to catch the egg. <laughs> Maybe that's how we'll sell it in the video. He was with you when you activated the stone? Wait, what? You're telling me that Benor was there with me at the tower stone. And I thought you all were joking. I thought, I thought that was like the joke in chat was like, oh, he jumped off the cliff chasing Nick because that is hilarious. That like, check the footage. Can someone link the clip in chat? Like it is hilarious. Like the egg was like a whoopsie type thing. Oh no, whoopsie. We've accidentally murdered the spawn of some poor bird. It is funny to think that Benor went like <laughs> he jumped off the cliff. I watched that egg all the way. Bagnor. That's funnier than it has any right to be. Ooh, hey, let's check our new ability. It's kind of super underwhelming application of the tower stone. I'm not going to lie. Ah. All right. Maybe I can get a visual on Benor from up here. Yeah, no, not happening. Truly, I, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm going to find him, though. Let's see. Maybe we broke the encounter with the chorus and we can sleep. No, damn. I got an idea. I'll come back here. But for the time being, I need a little bit of extra warmth. I'll put on some clothes. I have no clue if these are going to help me at all. What kind of warmth they'll provide. It might be a little bit better. With our healing, we basically have unlimited stamina, so we're going to have a lot of sprint. Oh my god, it's almost nighttime as well. If you've ever seen the first 48, you know we have a very limited amount of time to find Benor. God, this is a problem. I don't know if I can do it. You know what? I don't give a shit if I die. 
If I die, I lose some clothes. I'm coming for you, Benor. I'm already chilly. Health is decreasing. This is bad. I'm willing to lose 25% of my gold to find him. I cannot believe we lost him like that. I it just... I mean, it's hilarious. You know, the content part of my brain goes, oh, this is a brilliant arc. I don't know if you've caught on yet by now, though. The entire video is going to be mostly about getting my followers killed. Okay, so here's the stone. He would have landed somewhere around here. You've got to be shitting me. Unbelievable. I mean, by my calculations, <laughs> there's the bird nest. The egg went boop. It came out this way. It's perfectly reasonable to assume that he did, in fact, go try to save the egg landed on this rock, ragdolled a little bit. Loyal to the end. Benor, you died a hero trying to save the egg. Th this is... Oh my god, he is so much. We, we finally got our follower upgraded. <laughs> and this is how it ends. I'm so mad. I mean, I'm not that mad. But Benor, my good friend... A warrior's funeral for you. You fought hard, Benor. You died a hero. You saved my life multiple times and ultimately lost yours trying to save another precious bird life. Okay, it's not really cinematic when there's no river flow. <laughs> he just kind of lays there. I'm gonna go to rest with Benor here. Also, this is just gonna be effective fast travel. Very expensive fast travel, but I will donate to Benor. I'll give up some gold to be a hero with him. Take me with you, see? That wasn't very cinematic. You are too injured to continue. Please. What? What? So it's just like a full death? I've never had to do that before. Thank you, kind sir. I mean, in terms of meta, we will remember him. We will. We will remember him. That's just tragic. That that might be the most tragic follower death I've ever had. All right. Well, that doesn't really seem fair. I'm gonna go get myself killed. I am out of lockpicks, and I already used my ability on the great game. Oh, fantastic. Worth every septum. Remember who? 
Rem rem what do you mean remember who? Benor! Haven't you been paying attention? I'm really upset though. I'll, I'll tell you what kind of breaks my heart. Not seeing it happen. It's always such a bummer. And one thing that I do try to always be conscious of when we're recording these, getting the shot. That That is something that I would call a money shot. It is, I don't care what the narrative of the challenge is. I don't care how it's playing out. That has to be in the video to some degree and not getting the shot of Benor falling off. That sucks, that hurts. That like hurts me in my soul. the hell was that <laughs> what was that <laughs> is it gonna do the same thing okay there we go i lost my shield shit i lost my shield and about 700 gold still frostbitten we got to get through the next 24 what are you talking about erinder I know I'm a cat, but I'm hot. And what might you need? Hmm? You're talking? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm not gonna lie. He has been face maxing clearly. And what might you need? Need a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Take a look. That's all right. We'll re up on our shield. We got to get a new follower though. So who do we add now? Erinder can be new follower. Is that the guy who just insulted my looks? I'll show you to your room. And what might you need? Hmm? No, no, I don't want Erinder to be my follower. He just insulted me. Why would I be chill with that? Let's go health. We need a bit of a buff. We're actually good so far on Magicka and Stamina. Now I think we can start investing into health. Let's save our perk point. We're going to get a few more block skill points. Let me know save travels. Dear just one of the miners i don't want any trouble you what? i work in the mine just like oh his inventory probably refreshed in there let's go back in and get some food used to be twice as many miners need something just stoke the fire take a seat and get the cold out thoring runs the inn speak to him need a room Let's sate that appetite, huh? I do think that this is fun, and there's a lot of charm in this adventure going completely wrong. I mean, remember when our original goal was like, yeah, let's do the, uh, let's become a vampire. And then let's do Dawn Guard. Well, now it's become, let's just try to keep one follower alive. Let's just keep one person alive. Now I have to update the funeral list again. Should I do it now? Fuck it, let's do it now. <laughs> let's you, kind, let's upload. Ooh, wait, what Love are you... your challenges. Hope to see Starfield content here someday. I hope so as well, Banasaur. There are a few things that would have to happen for that uh, to likely occur for me to get excited for something like that. But that would be uh, that would be that would be dope. Hide shield, best we can do. Let's throw it on for now. I'll donate some Pogfish to him. You, was Pogfish added to this game literally for Twitch reasons? Is, is this like a Twitch thing? Because like, hold on, let's look at... Help. Pogfish. What? Player dot place at me. Zero six zero 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 eight nine one. Like, look at it. Is this not? Is this fish not pogging? Need something? Like, thank you, kind sir. That's totally why it was put into the game, right? Yeah, it's from when the fishing creation was added. Like, it, it's 110%. Like, just a little Twitch reference. <laughs> it's rock solid, too. It sounds like a brick. All right, time out.
Let's do some, let's update the lore. I like live updating the lore. I haven't really done live lore updates in a while for the slideshow. Although one issue, opening up my photo editor might blow up my PC. So be warned. Play a little, I'll play a couple jams before I get this opened up. Ooh, Scam Likely is calling me. Rejected. No. No. I can't even hear that one. Yeah, that works. Hogfish is from 2009, before Skyrim even. I don't believe it. All right, I'm serious. My, my computer might explode here. Beard is looking nice today. I didn't even line it up today. I was looking at it earlier and I said, this looks like shit. Ashley, I'm Robs. Thank you for the prime. Bonasolar, thank you for five months. I can't wait to use this song in a video. Oh God, the bass fill is so good. It's so good. So I think this song would work as like the journey is coming to a conclusion. Give me like one second here. Did my PC explode? All right, rest in peace, Benor. As you can tell, the gravestones are getting a little bit more low effort. <laughs> As they go, like Janessa, her, her head is all stretched out. Now we can mask this. Too much. I want to make this look good. Benor deserves it. And you know what? We're playing happy music because this is a celebration about Benor and who he was. We're gonna make him even wider. We're just gonna make their faces wider as they go. Add the black and white. Add a little bit of opacity. Wait, where's my opacity? A little bit of that. Does he have a mask on here? Let's throw a mask on. You know, clean up some of these rough edges. Just cause. You know, it's what it's what Benor should look like on his gravestone. Clean it up just a tad. Do 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 do. Rest in peace, buddy. 
I can't cry. I can't even fake tears. It is not a goal of mine to fill this entire graveyard, but we're getting pretty close. Sven, Uthgard, Lydia, Janessa, Benor. I feel horrible. I feel, ho feel horrible, but you know what? It's, a good, it's, it's good for the story. It's good for the lore. It's expanding the universe. It's world building. All right, I'll throw this onto the slideshow so it's updated for anybody <laughs> for all five people who are going to open this up and check it who's next on the chopping block yeah it's not a reality show okay we're not putting them up for elimination this isn't survivor in this game fire represents your life when your torch is out <laughs> you're out of the game Honestly, you know what? Maybe it is. Maybe all the followers in Skyrim are playing some reality game show that I'm unknowingly taking part in. And that's what's going on here. All right, the lore has been updated. There you go. Exclamation point rules. The tribe has spoken. Every septum. It's good for our bard career, TBH gives us new material you're that's it that's it that's the silver lining here right uh taylor swift puts out a genre defining economy moving album every single time she breaks like if taylor swift and travis kelsey don't work out i don't know if the world is ready for the numbers that that album is going to do i don't think that the world is ready and for our character for out of pocket Every time she loses a follower, she gains strength. It, it, it increases what she has in the backlog for material for her new album. Wolfie, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I forgot that was your back. It's only part of the backstory. We have. <laughs> Although that would be a good joke to write into the video somehow. I was like, uh, be a, be a pretty funny, like as type, type thing. Those typically do pretty well on YouTube. I don't, I don't know what it is. It all depends on how it's written. So, who, who do we get next? Restoration grind now? God, no. No, I am done grinding restoration. The only thing I need to restore is my faith in my followers. Yeah, let's do it. It's been so long. Let's do it. Let's bring 500 gold street bussy back onto the channel. Should we do it? Should we pay a cool 500 gold and start banging it out with Mercurio? I can take it where are you headed? Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Let's go get Mercurio. Have we got 500 gold? Yes. Yeah, we have quite a bit of gold. You talk to Egg Brothers. Deja has no words for you. Hmm. Oh, nice. Thanks. Cool. Appreciate it. Glad everybody here is welcoming, accepting, and kind. Who's the Shakespeare character that sounds like Mercurio? Is it Marcuccio? Is that the Shakespeare character? I took a Shakespeare class when I was in uh, my senior year of high school. Let me tell you, Shakespeare is hard as shit to read. I can take you to. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. I might have to stop and get myself a pint of We aren't going to marry Mercurio, though. We'll just pick him up. Mercutio, uh, Romeo and Juliet. That's right. Going to get cold. 
because you have to actually open the book. You're right, that part's difficult. No, it's like the way things are written and described is very, it's, it's like a different language. Like, what's a bequeath? Speak plainly. If your allegiance lies with the Empire, we haven't much to discuss. I was gonna say something. I was gonna bit here. Uh, <laughs> but I'm having a tough time with it here. New around Riften? Uh, okay, hey, 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 get out of here, hey. Get out of the way, come on. Everybody knows you're throwing that ass all around town, okay? Mercurio is mine. Why hire a common soldier to protect you when you can have a master of the arcane? Consider yourself hired. With a master of magic at your side, you'll have nothing to fear. Nice. Okay. Let's get going then. Where do I get my marriage I'm amulet? Spy, perhaps? I have the best idea. Okay, Mercurio, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat real quick, and then we'll plan our wedding. I'm not gonna show up. <laughs> I'm not gonna show up to the wedding. Why would I ever get married to somebody whose only requirement is that I give them 500 gold? I'm worth way more than that. Sure thing. It's yours. Yeah. What do you want? Right this way. This is about the meter. This is stupid. I'm gonna marry Mercurio just to leave him at the altar. That's it. That's the arc right now. I presume you're bothering for a good reason. It should. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Gimme. Give Gimme give that. Gimme. Give yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm, floor food. See, Mercurio's problem is just because I eat food off of the floor, he thinks I have low standards. Couldn't be further from the truth. Don't get too far ahead. Please help me. Sure, sure. I'm a Blessings of Mara upon you. Mm hmm. How may I help you, my daughter? Wonderful. Mara. We also perform wedding ceremony. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Typically, a person who is. When another person shows interest, here you are. Good luck. Mara bless you. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. We just met yesterday. Well, yes. Why wouldn't I be? Are you interested in me? It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. All right, Maramal, let's plan this. What do you need? Good morning. I'd like to have a wedding at the temple. I'm in love. Madly in love. You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. It's an all-day affair. You don't want to miss your own wedding. Our wedding is longer than the time we've known each other. Oh, shield. I'll see you at our wedding. <laughs> well, maybe. Divine smile on you, Maybe you will. Snip. Still undecided. Should I show up or not? I, expect to see you at the I, I don't know if... Why wouldn't it pick up the... Did it actually put the shield on? Oh, damn it. How many times I've opened this door? Congratulations on your wedding. I am so happy for both of you. Yeah. Fuck this wedding. Ugh, screw Mara. Her standards are low. Now, before we crush and shatter Mercurio's heart into a million pieces, how can we get some use out of him? We could probably use him to try and take out that first dungeon. Right? The Dawn Guard quest. Let's do it. We got to get back to Dawnstar, though, for that to, you know, happen. No, marry him. Send him to collect eggs. Let's go send him egg hunting. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? 
climbing back and we'll be off. The only annoying thing about taking this back to Dawnstar, I'm just gonna get hungry again. If you marry him, it's passive income? I'd rather marry somebody else. I'm just not interested in Mercurio. Like, he's got magic. What's he gonna do? Conjure himself a better paying job? No. I need someone that can provide for our children. Mercurio is just not up to snuff. I'm sorry. That was a pretty good roast, though. <laughs> I wonder if that's how mages break up <laughs> like if, if a two mate a couple of mages are married and like they're just going at each other to start throwing roasts at each other like that it's not that i have standards it's that out of pocket has standards okay all right i'm sure this hair took a while the piercings probably a really high effort she's in good shape like, Mercurio's still rocking a soul patch, come on. No offense to anybody in chat who has a soul patch. It just doesn't really fit the fantasy theme. Spend 500 gold just to piss off your follower that has to help you? Yep. Uh-oh. Wait, this is what should have happened last time. Thank you, kind sir. Her herrings should count as an inventory slot being used. Her hair ring should count as an inventory. Whoa! Why? Mercurio, save me! Save your fiance! Don't die now. I have a wedding to abandon tomorrow. Uh, good luck, Mercurio. He's actually dying. <laughs> we can't do this. Stop it. If he dies, that means he can't pay child support. Not that I'm going to let him impregnate me. Actually, no plans on that. All good. We're doing okay here. We're fine. No, we're not doing fine. He's still dying. Okay, this is a really close fight. Good work. I don't know what the hell is she what what was she doing? She wasn't really a fan of me. Maybe she was in love with Mercurio, that's why she decided to attack me. I guess I could punch in combat. I'm sleeping on it a little bit. Do potential followers that die count? No. Maybe upgrade his gear. Mm, maybe. Wait, if I don't show up to the wedding, will Mercurio still be tagged as my follower? If Mercurio is still tagged as my follower, can I get re-engaged to him? I don't know why I'm struggling with this mountain. There it is. There it is. Momentum. Ooh. Yo, yeah. We love that. Get on up there. Catch the corner.
All right, after a brief four hour delay, we can finally start the Dawn Guard quest. Hopefully not die. I am a little bit hungry. That worries me going into the battle. I wonder if we can do our stealth disease bomb again, though. Is that a dead body? Oh, that's right. We did. We killed a couple of them. We don't have to do the whole entire fight again. I think it's just the dog that's left in this room. Looks like decent damage to the death hound. Not too bad. Maybe we can put the dog down. Not like... You know what I mean. Listen, chat, maybe I've made a mistake. Maybe I should marry Mercurio. Because, I mean, the last time I was in here, we struggled quite a lot. He made that look easy. Hmm. 20 points of magicka damage. Don't tell me where it is. I'll find it. I will figure out how to open this door on my own. I don't need your help. It's Skyrim, okay? There's no way it's going to be that complicated a solution. Haha. -ha. All this enchanted stuff I got to leave behind, it's kind of heartbreaking. only had a dagger oh that's a good idea yeah let's do that let's upgrade do i want to waste upgrades on yes i do he must live if he doesn't live then who am i gonna break the heart of i'll see you at our wedding <laughs> i am an apprentice wizard not a pack mule oh. he's gonna keep saying that isn't he he's gonna keep reminding me of the fact that we're supposed to be getting married just to break my heart or to try and make me feel bad you know not gonna happen, Mercurio. <clears throat> Damn, hold on one sec. Benor really went out like that? Yeah, Benor jumped off a cliff. It is so dark in here. Are those caskets gonna open up? Seems like a vampire thing to do. Not quite. Got some vampire action in the back of the room. Oh, Skeleton! Can I just kill him? Wrong spell. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of red dots. Nice shot, though. Just obliterated the Skeleton. Vampire fledgling. Oh. What are you hitting them with? What is that? Is he turning them on our side? Oh, why would you kill it? He was on our team. See, this is why we can't be together. Or does it make them afraid? I think it makes them run away. That was easy. Wow. Maybe I did too much grinding. We might be too powerful. Uh oh, that's a problem though, I'm tired. A little bit more cash, I'm gonna need that for when we go to divorce court. See, the bloodhounds still scare me. Those I do not like.
that's actually not a bad, that's a sneaky little strategy. Right? Finally, and, uh, hey, 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 I know a trap room when I see it. Interesting if I wasn't already an expert on Nordic history. It's gonna do the Indiana Jones thing. Maybe not. It had trap written all over it though. There we go, stealth bomb. Resisted, damn, what is that? Is that from a spider? Okay, this is actually incredible. We can just keep bashing. We keep stunning them. Our curio hits them with the power of heartbreak. Crap, I'm out of magic. Ooh, that's bad. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep hitting me with that. Give me your power. Don't die. Oh my, I let myself get... <laughs> I cannot believe I let myself die there. So dumb. I mean, that was just pointless. I took my hands off the mouse and keyboard. Like, please, give me your disease. I deserve to die there. That was very, very selfish and stupid. I'm all the way back in Riften. <sighs> I'll see you at our wedding. You lead, I'll follow. This is an even worse punishment. God damn it. it some what can I get? Are you joking? You just drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Come back and see us again. Ugh. Sometimes it just decides not to pick it up. I love when it does that. What's your problem? That was dumb. I'm a little upset that I just decided to die there. Well, I guess I didn't really decide to die, but I just accidentally died. It's, it doesn't sit well with me. Mercurio makes me miss Benor more. I miss Benor as well. <clears throat> you get vampirism when delivering Serana? Oh, sweet. Oh, he's gone. Mercurio is gone. Okay, I want to see what happens, though, if we just don't show up. I will not be going to my wedding. I will not be attending my wedding. I have far more important things to do. Who would even go to my wedding? Like, who's going to be there for it? How long did you expect me to keep those people distracted? I had to let the whole plan fall through. Um, you well, looking to protect you yourself or deal some damage? Banded iron. If you need any more smithing, yeah, we'll pick up a shield. I, guess I, shouldn't be surprised. I was gonna say all the guests that would have been at the wedding are dead. There's going to be no one there. He's going to be all alone. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, well, I'm going to save my game, poke my head in, just to see who's there. I just want to see who all would be there for our wedding. Ah, here's the blushing bride now. Camilla? It 
Oh, that's it. <laughs> it's just Camilla Valerius? Oh, this poor guy. Okay, wild. Wild idea. So we know that Camilla Valerius is inside that church right now. For my wedding. I'm going to leave this, not go in, crush Mercurio's heart, and then marry Camilla. Watch the skies, yeah. <laughs> Just, that seems like the stupidest outcome. How does that even... How does that relation even get kicked off? Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Okay. All right, this is the last time. I am not dying on this dungeon. I Do I bring a follower? Do I even need one? Shit. No, I can do this. I, I don't need a follower. I can do this on my own. All right. I have the ability, the confidence, the skill, the aptitude, the determination, the zeal, the grit, the grind. I got this. How many times is Dawnstar going to get attacked by a dragon? This is kind of happening far too much for me to be comfortable with. I mean, we have to get vampirism, though. This is getting... We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm bed. Need a room? I don't know. Do, mean, do we even need vampirism? Sure thing. I'll show you to your room. This whole thing is going to be a disaster. There is no cohesion at all why did i buy a bed <laughs> it's like zero cohesion at all to this entire story all right let's warm up a little bit this is more of just a series of events you know you need backup How much gold do I have? Oh, 690? Where did it all? I died. That's right. That's where it all went. Every septum. What are you going to do to try avoid Serena dying because she is very much essential to Dawn Guard? Uh, in order to avoid Serana dying, uh, not make mistakes, play good ball, battle hard. I honestly have no clue if she can die. The unifying theme is followers dying. I guess it is. You should grind alteration to get paralyzed. Mmm. Mmm. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I like that. And I got a taxia. You gotta be shitting me, man. Oh, that was a pretty solid jump scare. I've never been jump scared like that by a freaking <laughs> by a skeever. He was in my face. This is our opportunity, though. I'm gonna get so much block XP here. I just know that there's someone in chat right now who's like, don't bash in the poor Skeever's skull. No, I'm going to. My strongest weapon is CTE. I got express delivery on it. Don't crush their heads, please. Yeah, he gave me a disease. What is that? What's a taxia? Lock picking, no problem at all. Although we didn't get any XP there, or we didn't level up block. It's at 34, we have two perks. We still have to get it to 40. Damn, block is, I guess not that tough to grind, but 
the difficulty we're on, the balancing we kind of have in our game, it makes it hard to absorb high level damage, which does grant, I think, the most block XP. Like if I went and I fought a giant and I blocked one of their attacks, I probably get a ton of uh, a ton of XP. This isn't bad though. I mean, this is restoration and block all in one. Not gonna complain. Why do you wanna level up block though? So we're mostly using our one inventory slot for a shield. Jury's still out on how much protection it actually offers us. But also for the most part, it's not really a build that I've done. I like to switch up the build that we do between each challenge. I think it makes it a bit more fun. It's the most feasible sort of like equipment to use with only one inventory slot. Like I could have armor, right? But that's not that exciting. That's just, you know, I'm wearing armor. The one shield that has spikes on it. A few people have recommended that one which I think we should try to get. I forgot the name of the dungeon, though, that it's in. What was it? Have you ever done a staff and shield only build? I haven't really done too much with staves. Staves. Staffin. Thank you, kind sir. Hi, Jim. You should use your one inventory slot for a suitcase so you can carry more stuff. No need to thank me. Uh, you thought that one, you, you thought that one was really funny, didn't you, Snap? It was. It's a good. It's clever. It's a good idea. Wait, true. Why don't I just use a backpack for my one inventory slot? You're brilliant. How you doing, Snap? Hope you've been well. There we go. There we go. There it is. Up and at him. Ah, a girl. Get up there. Come on now. Good stuff. I'm learning the motion of the ocean on this cliff. You know, you really have to be the side of a mountain at 75 degrees. You just have to feel it. Just got out of the editing gulag. Yeah, I feel your pain. I've been in there for like six weeks straight. <laughs> it's been kind of brutal. It's getting there, though. Have I taken the correct route to this cave at any point? I have not. At this point, it's kind of a point of pride. I have zero plans on doing so. You need Oriel's shield. It's one of the coolest shields in the game with a really unique enchant. Which one is Oriel's shield? And how do I acquire said shield? It feels like the really unique shields in Skyrim are kind of hard to get. Like they're very end game. I'm on the path. Oh, let's keep going. It's near the end of Dawnguard. Okay, well, we're going to get to the end of Dawnguard. <clears throat> I don't need Mercurio. All right. I'm breaking up with Mercurio to prove to everyone that I don't need him. I'm an independent Khajiit. I can do this. I think. It's my best damage. Pound for pound, my best damage is actually going to be punching things. Is that an oversight in my character build? No, it's lore. Okay, there we go. Look, she's she's sitting on a cliff ledge. Okay, you know what this is indicative of? She's going to be caught in an animation in order to get up. There it goes. Now she goes through the little animation. Not taking very much damage. I don't... Oh, resisted putrefy. You bitch. Okay, that changes things a little bit. I got this. I know what we're gonna do. Let's 
go with. <laughs> let's actually bring Sparks back into the mix. Let's not. Let's go fast healing. All right, 1v1. Okay, all right. Actually, uh, much harder than I had <laughs> any expectation of. At least we got the vampire germs. Damn, okay, she does good damage and I'm already out of magicka. All right, plan B. Start punching. Why is that so much more effective than literally everything else? Backup came in. Let's fall back. Fall backwards off the cliff right behind us. Separation. Heal up. Try to hit me behind this rock. I know your brain won't allow you to. Yep. Told you all. I don't need Mercurio, okay? I'm better than Mercurio. Right hook. Dog? Shit! Oh, that dog is scary and ugly and mean. That's bad. Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, awkward pathing. Boom, got it. We got a little bit of separation from the dog. It's gonna slow us down, so we need to stop the dog. Did that work? <laughs> Do you think I got it with my shout or did he get through? <laughs> wow, that is. Thank Ugly. You, Shout sir. out to whoever did the art for this dog's face. Whew. I, honestly, can we get a round of applause for whoever did the teeth on this monstrous thing? It worked. Oh my god, it worked. Okay, punch away. Dog down. We have two vampires now, one in back, one in front. Okay, they're going to do decent damage. I need to stun them both. We have our... We have our stamina. She can't hit us. Oh, that was close! Ho! Ho! Whoa! God damn, that was like at the wire. That was razor thin. That was like the thickness of, of a strand of... Uh, what's it called? Floss. Dental floss. That's how much health I had left. That is exhilarating. No way. I couldn't get the block off. That lightning's taking away my magic. We gotta fall back. Okay, we still have unrelenting force. We gotta prepare ourselves. Wait. <laughs> and nice try. Oh, you, that's so not cool. That's actually bullshit. That's rigged. Shit, man. No, the dog's gonna get me. Are you serious? I don't have enough speed to move away. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I think I have to try and go for a shield bash to stop it. Come on. No! Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. I'm gonna... Uh, I gotta give it to him though. I gotta give it to him though. That was a good play. Ooh. I'm gonna cry. Dude, that was like. You talk about razor thin margins. That was a fun ass fight though. Credit where it's due. I don't feel like I got cheated out of that one. That just felt like a really smart play. That was like a chess match. That was fun.
I am very sad though that I have to run all the way back to that stupid ass dungeon though. You just never seen you old, too, huh? set <sighs> I'm having a really rough day. Can you guys bother somebody else with your fucking problems? All right. My marriage is falling apart. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm going to be a vampire in three days. I'm running out of money. <laughs> I better, you know what? In the divorce with Mercurio, I better get 250 gold back or I'm going to sue him. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. Your husband? Handing out money? Who's at fault in the marriage? Oh, Mercurio. It's Mercurio's fault. If Mercurio was hotter, maybe things could have worked out. But like, uh, you know, I told you all, I have standards. Joke's on you, there is no divorce in Skyrim. True, we don't even actually have to get divorced. I'm just not showing up. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Back to Dawnstar. We'll yeah, on. Dawnstar. Oh, steady. Finally decided to check his stream just to see you get killed. Ah, that was such a disappointing battle. I mean, the outcome was disappointing. The battle itself, that was fun as hell. <clears throat> the, 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 you know, <gasps> failed attend your wedding ceremony. Yes, mission accomplished. Task failed successfully. <laughs> and we're back in Dawnstar, who is once again being terrorized by a dragon. Get inside, Allison. Juvia Roberts. Is that a play on my name along with Julia Roberts? Are you joking? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. I tell you the dragonborn comes. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Beware, beware, the dragonborn cries because he died in a really disappointing battle. It's those dogs, man. The, the dogs are kind of my kryptonite right now. They slow me down. They do good damage. I also think that that fight, I, I might have extended that fight a little bit too long to where... Um, iron flesh, oak flesh, whatever the hell I have, that might have worn off. Next time you might take a look. Four hundred forty-four gold. Yeah, I gotta be careful here. We're running really low on money, so getting these shields is getting expensive. Oh, you know what would be dirty is. Can you enchant a shield with fortify block? Or is that not possible? Can you dodge their attacks? The dogs are tough to dodge. Oh, here we go. Free money. That's exactly what I was looking for. Provided I don't die, this is perfect. What a shot. Their aimbot is incredible. It's possible, but you can't. Well, no, I mean, I could find a shield that has fortified block, right? If possible or buy one. But yeah, I would need a filled soul gem because I could disenchant for fortify block to like add it to my inventory. But I would need a filled soul gem in my inventory to actually create my own. Also to grind enchanting to actually make a decent shield. I'm about to fortify blunt. If you're talking about smoking weed, please, everyone from now on, new stream rule. If you are ever going to tell the chat that you are engaging in recreational drugs, please tell them that you are fortifying blunt. New rule. 
That is the only way to refer to it from now on. Oh, rest in peace, man. Why does he look like that? Wait, why does that look cool as hell? Oh, whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. I was thinking that was like a face mask he had, and then that was the top of his helmet. But no, that's just his chin. Elven boots of... I'm trying to think for a sec. These would be brilliant to have against the dogs. I would lose my stun ability with the shield. But these would be really, really good against the de uh, the death hounds. This could get us through that cave. Possibly. Would they really? I do. You, I mean. I'm, I'm trying to think. This is what's kind of been fun about this run so far is you're sort of trying to theorize what our best play is. It also fends off survival mode cold, really? True, wait, hold on. No. The dogs would still slow us down, regardless of the frost resistance, unless, is there a percentage threshold in which your frost resistance will negate frost damage? Like when I use my putrefy spell on the vampires, it says up in the corner of my screen, vampire resisted putrefy. At what point would the dog have to hit me in order for the dog, theoretically, on their screen to say up in the corner, juve resisted frost? What it does it have? So max is 85. Does the player not have the ability to full on resist like the NPCs do? Disenchant them and enchant a shield. We have to have two inventory slots to actually do our own enchantment. Undead are impervious to disease. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's why they have a racial ability sort of. Right, they, they, they basically, they're, if their race, you know, in the game was undead, that's what applies that. You can never fully negate. Okay, so if we can never fully negate, then Frost is still going to slow us down. On the bright side, there's a general store right nearby, and I am low on money. So let's keep it simple. Keep it simple. Just take the money. Good morning. Take a look. We're going to find a sick ass shield at some point, either in the shop or via a quest. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Also, for how many times I'm going to have to pay for fast travel, food and lodging. More spells is a good idea as well. Let's check actually the court wizard here. I need to change. I think I need to change my spell loadout. Take a look. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. Until next time. The the combat spells I have right now are boring. <laughs> That's I, I kind of the, the play style itself. I think that the run we're doing is a lot of fun. I think that like the sort of game theory we're doing, the theory crafting we're doing throughout this run is a lot of fun. I just actually don't think that the gameplay of this class has been all that fun. Need something? Take a look. Back up to 1700 gold. Okay, tell me you have I'd love an enchanted shield right now. I don't even think he has a shield. We'll check the blacksmith. Flame cloak could be really good. Because I can turtle with the shield, I can shield bash while Flame Cloak just messes people up. I like that. Where's the blacksmith? Please. Get to work, buddy. Okay. It was one dragon attack. He's probably up ogling the dragon's dead body. Everybody loves ogling in this universe. God, I'm so tired. Be 
flame cloak that auto casts at combat start lipkin time 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 that might be the combo we might have cracked the code okay here we go so let me just get everybody on the same page in case you're not exactly sure what this build is and what we've kind of been doing we have this one spell in the alteration tree called akado's recital this spell when you cast it all right you got your you got your two hand spells out here right if you cast akado's recital it takes whatever spell you have in this hand and it casts it at the start of combat so you can store up to three spells within this one spell and in perpetuity, every time combat starts up to those three spells will auto cast so if you've noticed every single time this character gets involved in combat you'll hear the bling, you know you'll hear the shing of stone flesh being cast that gives us 60 armor rating and honestly now they think about it we might be getting both of these i think it's only one i think we tested that before and it was only one so to maximize our gains right now every time we enter combat no matter what capacity we automatically get a buff in our armor for at least 74 seconds via stone flesh we also have it cast muffle that is just so that we can passively get some illusion xp but if lipkin is right we can make the third spell of those three every time combat starts be flame cloak we get that wrapping around us spinning around us like a vortex of death hot death just flying through every room turtle up with the shield bash wait <laughs> are you saying that we should mix frost flame and storm cloak Guys, I'm not going to lie. I got to be honest. I got to be honest. I'm trying to contain myself because I'm pogging so fucking hard inside right now. Internally, my pogs are off the chart. Is that a thing? Can I say that now? Have I been streaming long enough to where I can unironically say pog? Master all three elements? The Avatar. Okay, but where is the blacksmith, for real? Is he inside? I'm going in. Hey! Why aren't you working? Ooh, free shield. Never mind, I'm not spending money. Is he dead? I don't think the cloaks stack. Okay, if the cloaks don't stack, though, we can still probably get creative with our combination of three. I think we have to have an armor ability. Oak flesh. So we have two open slots right now. Somebody mentioned... Our, what about Thrumming Stone? What if we brought Thrumbo back? What if we go Thrumbo, Shield, Flame Cloak, Armor? I think we could be impenetrable. We have to test this out. Highest flesh, muffle, and then... I don't know if we should go with muffle. I think my illusion skill is high enough. At this point, leveling illusion is only just gonna... I, I think just make enemies a bit tougher. I'm here to, if you're here about the... Take a look. So let's take a look. We gotta, we gotta think through this. I'm actually getting... I'm actually getting really hyped right now. Azure Reconstruction. I don't want to do Conjuration. I want to avoid Conjuration for the most part. Bone Spirit casts a vengeful, vengeful spirit that homes in, hones in on the target and explodes for 63 points of magic to... Wait a minute. Wait. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Is this a restoration spell that fires off a bomb? <laughs> I might need this spell. I might need this spell. If there was a way, would you play multiplayer Skyrim with Jabo? No spoilers, Thank but already did. Sir. You'll see that 
at some point in the future. If you, if you, I will, you'll see that at some point. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, he hear me out though. I'm very excited about this. Bone Spirit. Not only is that a really cool name for a spell, but it sounds like we are going to fire a heat seeking missile. I just have to be careful because, you know, out of pocket, she's kind of a smoke show. If it's a heat seeking missile, that thing might turn around and come back at her. Give me Bone Spirit. You're in the lineup. That museum is a mistake. <laughs> Who is that? Jabo! What is going on? Cheers! Cheers, friends! <clears throat> PogChamp in all caps. That means we're having a good time. I am having a fantastic time as well. Worth every second. Poke champ, poke champ, nah, I know, poke I know people champ, like the Sonic. Champ, poke champ. Thank you. Welcome. Hope the stream went well. I appreciate you sending everybody by. I'll give you all a brief rundown of what's going on here. So, we're playing Skyrim, obviously. We're playing we're playing Skyrim clearly. Um we only have one inventory slot. And the way this Oh right, shit, hold on one second, one second, one second, one second. I need to put this somewhere where I'm not going to go to jail for picking it up. Uh Thank you, I'll give you a brief Poncer. rundown of how this works. Poke champ. Right? So if I walk up to an item and I want that in my inventory, right now I have absolutely nothing. Inventory is completely empty. Exclamation point rules, by the way. If you want to just go through a brief sort of slideshow of what kind of the concept is and what our goals are, etc. Our goals are kind of all over the place. But if I want to pick up an item, I hold down G and then press E. Boom. It's automatically equipped. I got my one item. If I want to pick up something else, if like I just press E on it, it won't actually. I got caught. Apparently, I got caught stealing. <laughs> so. Oh, nice. We're just gonna ignore due process. All right, fair enough. Yeah, sweet. Time out. Okay, hold on. We have to save the run here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay, can I go to jail? I'm trying to explain to the nice people who came over here from Jabbo Stream what in the fuck is going on right now. Why are you running around with a pot? That's not a play toy. Watch, that's hardware. Watch what you're doing. Worth every septum. Okay, are they not? Are we not gonna transition this into just a normal arrest? No. Okay, this is uh, this is not good. I don't want to take a thousand bounty. I don't really want to die. I guess if I die, it's not a huge deal. We have a mod right now where if we die, Thank we just lose the item in our inventory. Stop right there, criminal scum. God. Okay. Well, now, now I'm kind of a, all right. I'll, I'll just let him take me out. The fuck it. Okay. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Exactly what we needed. Worth every septum. Jobbo told me to give you bits. No, no, he didn't. This one's a favorite of mine. I think I got a clean a legend we all know and love. Thank you, no. kind sir. Jabba, did you tell them to? The did you tell man, them to donate bits? It's very kind of you. Hope your one invo slot run goes well. You can always put stuff up your butt. Remember. <laughs> Thank you, Pyro. I appreciate it. Jobbo told me to give you bits. Is it, was that two times with the same one? What's happening? All right, hold on. Let me let me just give you a brief sort of rundown of what we're doing. Okay, so we have a decent amount of mods in the game, but two of the kind of key ones are Apocalypse, which adds a bunch of spells to the game, Ordinator, which kind of overhauls the perk tree, fleshes it out a lot more, gives you a lot more options in terms of the build that you can kind of create. And we have this one alteration spell that is called Akato's Recital. So what this spell does, I was literally, I was explaining this spell just as you guys came in and we were, we were creating a build around it. So this spell, Akato's Recital, you cast it. When you have a spell in your left hand, after casting it, it locks that spell to automatically cast every time you jump into combat. Like every time combat begins, 
you can have three spells automatically cast. So we're trying right now to kind of build a like a nice little three spell thing that can cast immediately when combat starts. And I think we're going to do this one called Bone Spirit because based on its description, it looks like it launches a rocket. <laughs> it looks like it launches a heat seeking missile. So I want that to happen at the start of combat. Worth every second. Jobbo told me to stop giving him money. Here's Th some for you, your hands only. This spell cannot be stored. Why? Wait, that's actually a huge bummer. I was so excited about that one. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I have to... I think I can reset the lineup. If we Thank empty our can, hand. Sir. Let's see, let's see what happens here. So we want... Boom. All right. So now we have no spells in our lineup. We want to have stone flesh. I'm fucking this up. This is actually kind of confusing. Okay, so we have stone flesh. We want stone flesh right at the start of combat since we can't use any inventory slots for armor. That's our armor. That one's going to cast. Let's see if we can get that homing missile, whatever the hell it is, spell. I want it, please. It's probably going to deny it. That's actually a bummer. Okay, let's figure out the other ones. Oh, does it have to be self-targeting? Did I miss that in the description? Stores the beneficial self-targeted. Yep. Okay, it's got to be a beneficial self-targeting spell. You should get some. Still, we can probably find a few that are going to be fun to use. Let's get that one favorited, though. Heat-seeking missile sounds entertaining. I'm going to get rid of Putrefy. We have Death Cloud, which is a bit better. I just don't know. I don't think that poison is a very fun effect. It just doesn't... It doesn't have the zest of, like, bombs. Yes, Flame Cloak is one that we plan on getting. Yeah, something similar to that. If Flame Cloak doesn't work with Akato's Recital, I'll be pretty sad. It's not stealing because they're dead. Typically throughout this run, we've been using a shield in our one inventory slot. Where did the... Oh, no. Where did the court wizard go? Did I lose him? Bear traps? No, no more bear traps. We already did all the bear traps last time. So, you wish to master the arcane arts. All right, there's a ton of these spells in here, so let's just... Creates a hovering light? No. Circle of Strength steals seven points of stamina per second from hostiles inside the circle. No, that's not self-targeting. Heals the caster 126 points. We could have that one auto-cast, but I don't know if this at the start of combat it's that beneficial. I don't want to do Conjure. Conjure doesn't excite me all that much. Consuming power, allied summon to reanimate a minion's new... Courage is on target. I wish you could sort the menu based on targeting. Mara's Wrath. I've, a few people have suggested Mara's Wrath. It doesn't look like she has it in inventory, though. Power of the Master. Cast the beneficial self-targeted spell in your left hand on all nearby summoned Rian and Minion. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Horrid Wilting. Hailstone, an ice crystal that shatters. Uh, what about Thrumming Stone? Is it in here? Q-R-S-T-U-V. I thought this said Thundercock. <laughs> I thought this said Spell Tome Thundercock. Deafening close range blast that deals 42 points of shock damage to health and half of that to Magicka. Hey, at first glance, that might just be the internet, you know. It, it might be the insmoothening of my brain, though, that the internet has done to me. 
How about tree rings? Caster receives 10 layers of tough plant skin, each increasing maximum health by 18 points, so 180 points. Layers gradually fall off over the course of 30 seconds. That's good to start combat with, but it's not that exciting. I want excitement. I want something. I want explosions. Uh, okay, so Flame Cloak, that's the one everybody was... I don't think it's in here. Circle of Protection. That one is not in here. Where? All the ones that I've seen suggested are not in here. Tunes the caster to fire, equipping the Ember Bolt spell for up to 15 seconds. It could be kind of fun. Oh, Lamb of Mara? Didn't somebody kind of... No, you suggested a different one. Go to Winterhold. Back to another fine day in All right, let's get over to Winterhold. Damn, damn it, I'm never going to complete this first quest, am I? Flame Cloak is on the beach west of Dawnstar. Well, I guess that's where I'm going next. Sassy Wimple, thank you. Okay, on the beach. Why is there a spellbook on the beach? Why am I asking questions? Ooh, we can steal a reindeer over here. Jingle bells, jingle bells. And no crime was committed. If you didn't know, now you know. I am on the beach. We are west of Dawnstar. Not by a lot. How far west do I have to be? This just looks so goofy. I'm going to assume it's in here. Don't you go anywhere. Stay, Rudolph. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Uh oh. Oh, I just launched him. I think something with my, the physics in my game is a little bit messed up where it almost stored the momentum of unrelenting force and then like released it when they died. I want that. Oh, don't tell me that's a static object. How dare you? How dare you, Skyrim? No. What? Now it's on. I don't know what the fuck that was. Okay, I'm just. Kind of throwing me off there. Oh, did the timer crash? It's all right. Good call. Appreciate it. I love live split. Fantastic technology. What, what was the time at? It was like 14, 17. I 
I think we're good. All right, remind me again. It's not west of Dawnstar, it's east. Yo, man. Now I need I need my reindeer back. Where where is he? Wait, wait. They're gone. They're gone. Abandoned once again. I'll be faster on foot. Hold on. Lock XP? Oh, wait, the Horkers are kind of busted. I think with precision, the Horkers just can't hit anything. Oh, sorry. There's the timer. Okay, I, I, I got to lock back in. Where... I gotta lock back in. Where is the book? What's it called? Flame Cloak. As a VOD watcher, it feels surreal to watch. It. Really? Is it that wild? Oh, just kill me. <laughs> Good to see you. Is there a mod list? Exclamation point mod list should take you to the collection I have, but. It's a little bit out of date and very unstable. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pitch it as very successful. Uh, it has a Nexus approval rating of 47%. Uh, yeah. Pretty good. It's, it's kind of popping off. Actually, quite popular with the community. I got to I got to I got to check back in. Okay, it's east next to a burnt corpse okay but like where you know like on these islands is it right 100% of 47% of people have enjoyed my collection of mods you have google I know I do I know Sometimes it's fun to just aimlessly wander about, though, you know? Stumble upon it on my own or just kind of use chat's directions. It's like we're all on a road trip together and I refuse to use GPS. Dad, just pull over and ask this guy at the gas. No. No. All right. We go by vibes. That's how we navigate. Just go along the coast to tell you. Oh, wait a minute. I know exactly the location you're talking about. There's, yeah, there's like, there's flames on the ground. I think it's much further east from here. There it is. By much further, I actually meant roughly 75 yards. If you're not sure what a yard is. It's a discussion for another time. Ah, oh, flame cloak. Come here. Yes. Drench me in your flames. Wonderful. Wondrous. Magical. Now we go. I swear to God, if this doesn't work. We go left hand flame cloak. Akato's recital. Right hand. The shit better work. Fuck yeah. That's big time. I mean, look how expensive Flame Cloak is. Now it's just going to automatically cast for free at the start of combat. That's broken. <laughs> it's actually broken. All right, we got some power. Finally, jeez. About time. It only took us... Uh, Hey, who put a one on the timer? It's only been four hours. Okay, well now I'm out the, in the middle of nowhere. Use it to negate cold. Let's 
try it. I want to try my new toy. I'm not warming up. The arms of my shadow are gone. Oh, yeah. Bring it. I don't know if I should fight a bear, though. Uh... I ran out of stamina. Fuck. I can't Somehow blocked him. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm alive. Go. I don't know how I tanked it. How did I live? That's OK. Geometry. They don't know how to navigate. Exploit their brains. Target the weakness. Calculating. Calculating. That was a waste. That was a huge waste. That was a waste, but it's okay. We're still alive. Flame cloak is gone now. That's not good. We can hit them with this rock. They'll probably get confused. Holy crap. Okay. All right. All right. This is a problem. Go, Horker. I don't know what's happening. This is the wildest episode of National Geographic I've ever seen. That Horker went down way too quickly. Um, okay, we need... I mean, without a doubt, we have to cast Flame Cloak again, but could be problematic with how much Magicka it's going to cost. You have contracted severe ataxia. I forgot I have a disease. They're all lined up perfectly now, though. Clean. Hit him with the cliffside. I don't know what happened when the bear got me. Oh, you sons of bitches. Oof. What a block. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh my god, I'm still alive. This is wild. Absolute scenes over here. We can't use Flame Cloak anymore, so I'm going to book it. That was a good fight, though. I'm starting to... Uh-oh, no way, man. No fucking way you gotta be you like what as i finally hit the escape route how the hell did you even get me back here this isn't gonna kill everybody will it okay sweet sweet all right i'm not hostile I'm kind of getting f fucking annoyed with all the losing I'm doing. It's kind of getting to me. Like, man. I had those dogs. I had like five wolves and a bear in the blender. They didn't know what was happening to them. And then as soon as I like actually get a pretty good chance to escape, he just, I just get outran in a straight line. Ugh. Bore me. And we lost gold. <laughs> Back down to 800. You might consider putting on something. Need something. Why not get another follower? We will. I had to test my endurance by myself, right? I had to go through that learning process to discover that I'm actually shit. But now that I have accepted that I am complete ass, 
I have a new perspective. And my new perspective is going to make me better, stronger, more calculated. No, I'm not sure what happened to Mercurio. You know, after we decided to abandon him on the altar, I might have to go back and see how he's doing. I can't believe you're looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Come back. Seems like no. Take a look. 1400 piss off. Ridiculous price. Got all excited there for a second, like, ooh, enchanted shield. No. Nope. Will there be a breakup song about Mercurio? I'm not sure what we would call it. Uh, what, what should we title our album that's all about our broken relationship with Mercurio? I can take it Disenchanted. Climb on in the boat and get caught. Um... Mysticism. We're not calling the album 50 Gold Street Pussy. Or 500. Oh, wait, I think I'm actually a vampire now. Ha! Ah. Ha ha ha! Sunlight! Urgh! Garlic! Other vampire stuff. What else do vampire do? Vampires. Vampiren? What else do Vampiren do? This whole challenge, whatever the hell it is, has gotten so Nearby. absurd. Where do you want to go? It's gotten so stupid. Climbing back and we'll be off. We haven't even completed the first Dawn Guard quest. It's been 14 hours. Don't they have invisibility self-targeted? Maybe, although this, is gonna, this might sound weird. I don't know if visually I like invisibility. I like being able to see my hands. I like being able to see myself if I punch a person in the face, see my fist, or in this case, claws. Wah. Smack him. You got Mercurio and already killed- No, Mercurio was alive! No, 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 no. We did not kill Mercurio. All we did was pay him, get engaged to him, and then not show up to the wedding. Yeah, we have to cure Ataxia. What's your problem? I can't believe you're speaking to me after what you've done. <laughs> I never loved you anyway, Mercurio. Nobody would get married to a cat after being paid 500 gold. You're no man for me. But on the other hand, I saw what you did in battle. I saw how you sacrificed for yourself for me. Fuck, I messed it up. I saw how you sacrificed yourself for me. Can we? Can I have another chance, please? P please? All right, just because it's you, we'll try again. <laughs> Simp, <laughs> fucking speak to Maramal about arranging your wedding. Well, look what the Horker dragged in. Still wandering all over Skyrim and causing trouble. All right, fi fine. No, uh, th this is the most expensive relationship I've ever been in. Fine, Mercurio, come on. With a master of magic at your side, you'll have nothing to fear. Come on. Wait, no, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm gonna... I, I'm not marrying him again. <laughs> I plan on abandoning him a second time. I need to stop wasting money on it, though. It's a financial drain. Marama? Yes? Until next time. That's weird. Hold on, wait. Hmm? What's with this typo? Mm-hmm. Psst. Psst. Hey. Um. Why are you sneaking, Mercurio? Ooh, nice. He's got some cash on him. Hell yeah. Nice. You've embarrassed the temple and spat in the face of love. 
What do you want? Wake up, okay? All right, Every can everybody here just relax for a second? All right, yeah, sure, I didn't go to my wedding. Chill out, okay? Now get out of bed and, <laughs> and go through the whole entire process again of setting up that wedding. Forgiveness is the heart of Mara's blessings. Very well, we shall rearrange your wedding tomorrow, same time as before. These are the most forgiving dipshits I've ever encountered in video game history. These people are so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's like, uh, we, uh, we have reached nuclear levels of absolute moronicism. Is that a word? I'm making it a word. This is moronicism. It is like a, it is a heightened degree of moronic worship. Just like due to tell his fiance he's a financial drain, explains his perspective on child support. Hey, you guys need to stop expecting so much from me, all right? I'm only one man. I can't support all these different Twitch babies and whatnot, okay? I don't love them all equally. I don't, all right? I like the Twitch babies that are good at sports. I play favorites, okay? Some of the Twitch babies are all Americans. Some of them really like trains. And that's okay, I just, the trains aren't gonna pay for college. I gotta pick and choose, there's too many of them. Looking for a place? Sure thing, it's yours for. I'll show you to your room. Catch some Z's. I, I cannot wait to go to this wedding, or rather, not go. Is he gonna have the exact same reaction? They're all infants, they don't do sports. Not in this household. <laughs> We're strapping on the helmets and throwing him out onto the football field right away. How are they gonna be all pro? All right, I need them running Oklahoma drills by the time they're two. So I guess we can still use Mercurio to get through the dungeon. Uh, did I? I think I dropped my shield when I got food. Okay, shield, Dawnstar. Once again, go back to that same damn dungeon. Finally clear it out. Where did my shield go? I keep crouching because I think it's stolen and I'll get in trouble for it. Ooh, do I? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna get rid of my disease. I know that's gonna get rid of vampirism. But I'll get vampirism back at the end of this quest. How can a humble servant of... help you today? I don't really care what the- I think there was a gamble on it. Are bound weapons on the table? I- I'm almost positive they would take up an inventory slot, but also bound weapons kind of bore me. For this, I think I would rather explore what our build is like if we can only really use a shield and some magic. Take you to it. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. I feel like I'm getting deja vu. And I've just gone through this same cycle. Five times now on the same stream. Marrying someone gives you 100 gold and free food every day. I, I know, I know. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. A marriage, it's not about what I can get from my spouse. No, it's about companionship, trust, love. That's what I'm in it for. It just so happens that Mercurio provides neither love, excitement, or money. He's just good in combat. Ragnar. Ah, oh. Another 
corpse for the power of this one. Sorry, she had to go. I, I could not take it anymore. Every time we come back to this town, I'm ready to just... I want to know what he's doing with the pot. I've seen him like five different times. Is he smuggling drugs in that thing back and forth between the mine and the bar? Just become a bard and sing. We do have that ability, but I think we need another spouse to die. <clears throat> we have a secret ability called debut album. And every time a follower dies, and every time we get a divorce with Mercurio, <laughs> the ability passively gains more power. You can only cast it one time. And then as soon as you cast it, you can't actually build up the ability anymore. The bard tree has a drum that does damage. Really? Hmm. We'll see about that. Perform Serenade. Performing to members of the opposite sex yields twice as much gold and potentially small items. I don't want anybody making any jokes, all right? I bet Mercurio's got a small item. Boom! Got him, penis! Got him. I had to. It was come on. It was like wrote itself. Thank you, kind sir. We need. What is the actual route to go to this cave? I've taken a really stupid route every time, but that's just kind of my route. So speaking of items, I saw the other day, actually last night on r slash Skyrim mods. I don't know if this is like an ongoing joke on that subreddit, but I saw another post that was like, can someone please help me, please? Like I'm, I'm begging you all for help, please. I need to download schlongs of Skyrim. And I gotta wonder, how how awesome is this mod? Because it, it's like four or five times now. It's either an inside joke that people keep posting asking for help downloading this mod called Schlongs of Skyrim, or it's such an amazing, incredible, immersive experience that people just gotta get this in their game. So which one is it? Is there anybody in here who has experience with Schlongs of Skyrim? Can I get a can I get a review? It's not a joke. I have it. Okay, what 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 is the mod? It's a hard requirement for a lot of other naughty mods. Okay, so does it just add like does everyone in the game do do all like the male characters in the game do they all just have their wieners out all the time? Or is it a mod that adds in the wieners to be used for other mods? We're not, you know, we're not mod shaming here, okay? I'm, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I kind of, okay, I'm making fun of it a little bit, because it is funny. Like, Worth every come on. Come on. <laughs> like, PP for naughty stuff. Okay, it adds, it adds it in, so it's like, okay, it's an asset, all right. If they didn't want it to sound funny, why call it Schlongs of Skyrim? Like, he could have given it a more mature name than that. You know, think about, like, the marketing for it. The guy who used to stream Skyrim, Draco, got these mods where you could use lactation milk magic. He made a milk mo Okay, that's... I, I don't know if I have any plans for... I think that might be a little bit too far. Sounds like a TOS violation. I think they nailed the marketing. But it's like every time I see someone mention it, I can't tell if it's like a joke. But now I know. Now I know. I have been educated. It is more of an asset mod. It is a precursor for much more immersive penis activities in Skyrim. Which, hey. It's all good. 
I mean, there's dicks in cyberpunk, right? That took me, it, it, it took me like 30 minutes when I first played Cyberpunk to choose which penis I was going to have. I couldn't decide. Hmm. Like, well, turtleneck or no turtleneck? Do, hmm. You know, it was, a, it was an, it, I couldn't, I had to think. It was a real brain teaser. What have I stumbled into? Oh, it's got <laughs> I always forget that sometimes people can join a stream immediately as we're talking about some out of pocket stuff. We were talking about uh, a, a wiener mod in Skyrim, but we're moving on actually, because we're going to complete this dungeon. It's been like four hours and I haven't beaten it. I've died several times. We're going to beat it and we're going to do it without penises in my game. What if there have been wieners in my game this whole time and I've just been so good at not revealing them? Just so I can tactically one day pretend that I had some kind of Freudian slip on stream. What if? Be kind of a funny prank though. True, actually this character hasn't had clothes the whole time. Wait, where's Mercurio? Not that I need him. Oh God, don't scare me like that. I can get through this without him, but I might as well bring him. Oh, no. Death Hound. We just need to watch out for the dog. Okay, that's the cadence. I got the cadence now on the dog. That, okay, okay, okay. So the way it works, the way we have to do it, if we want our build to actually be as effective as possible, it's block, and then the death hound has kind of a slow recovery animation. So it's, Block, restore stamina, curl up. Push, restore stamina, curl up. That's kind of how we can bubble ourselves, especially against the dogs. They have a moveset that I'm not that used to because I've never done this DLC on stream before. Hold on, what did I just read? All right, chat, 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 let's, <laughs> let's just let's relax a little bit. Let's take it easy. I know, I know everybody gets all excited when you start talking about wiener mods. <laughs> let's, let's bring things back down just a tad. Hey, watch it. What are you screaming at me for? God, this is why I'm not marrying you. Master vampire. Okay, let's be careful here. Massive spider. Ah, oh, come on, spider. Let's... There you go. Yeah, Mercurio, you go ahead. Gargoyles are pretty tough. I don't think you even know what you What's that? Oh, that was kind of sad. Oh, crap, crap, crap. It's not going to reactivate. Okay, so we have to take advantage of our flame cloak before it runs out. Vampire and low kill. How difficult is low kill going to be? Doesn't matter. We have a human railgun right over here.
Yeah, that's the strategy. But I gotta be honest, it's not quite as fun as like slapping them with a sword. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd like to hit them. All right, I don't know, at least have like a missile that hits them. I think I need a destruction spell. Oh no, not the puzzle, not the puzzle. See, okay, we have the actual, like, cadence of it down now. Unlimited shield bashes, we keep them stunned forever. Game over. Now, for bigger, en bigger enemies like the gargoyle, no clue what's gonna happen. Your eyes open for try your bone spear. Oh, shoot, I didn't even try this. I kind of forgot how this works. You gotta like, you move these around, they light up. Wonderful. I always love the puzzles in these, this game. You'll encounter like some dungeon divers. They've been trying to crack the code on this thing for centuries. <gasps> Laura Bailey. Wait a minute. Where's Troy Baker? You guys are always a package deal. Who sent you here? A man named Isran. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. None of your business. I think it is. No, 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 it's not. Why would someone who isn't like me come all the way down here? Are you a? Uh, <laughs> I want. I want a mod that like edits the. Subtitle, so it's like, are you a parentheses anime gasp? Vampire, yes. The Dawn Guard would want me to kill you. No, 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 no. We don't want to be harsh like that. That's complicated, and I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. As long as you don't get in, why would you say that? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. So will she die? Like, does the mod that I have where my followers can die, does it affect Serana, or is she invincible? I have no clue. What skills are you AFKing on the third monitor? Uh, strength training on crabs at Fossil Island on my third monitor. Okay, that's not much of a missile. And they do a lot of damage. Let's not die here. I am not making this journey again. Who's that? Whatever, they all lived. It's not too far now. At least I think it is. I thought you knew the way.
Are we done here? Or is there more? There's definitely more. Or not? Ow. I can't see shit in here. I really wish the ancient Nords cared more about lighting. Yo, there's gotta be like a switch or something. Can already I can already see it in the back of my mind someone's screaming in chat where it is. This shit's almost too easy. Except for when I take damage. Once I actually get hit, then it's not too easy. But honestly, I got—I got to be real. I don't like this build. I—I—I I, I, I don't like this build. It's too much. It's—it's it's too much screen clutter. You know what I mean? There's just like there's a lot going on. There's like the shield bashing and the flames and the this and the that. You know, like, there's a whole lot going on. Who's there? I mean, it's fairly effective. But honestly, in terms of, like, recording and getting the kills, it kind of just makes everything really hard to see. Or am I, like, off base here? Well, the build doesn't like you either. Probably why I keep dying. Stamina, I guess that could be kind of good. I'd rather keep unrelenting force, though. I like being able to stumble. If you hate the build so much, why don't you marry it? You mean propose to it and then leave it at the altar? Is everything all right here? No, the, I don't know how to open the door. Is it another stupid handle that's hidden somewhere obscure? the hell is it? I'll find it. I'll find it. I can do this. Did I miss it? Oh, it's right here. See, I just had to reset. I had to reapproach the situation from a different perspective. What are you talking about? It's freezing cold. It's damn near a storm. Thank you, kind sir. Jovin. Oh. Ooh, yuck. I gotta manually walk her all the way over there? No, we're going to Dawnstar. It's quick, uh, it's closer. Gamer Grill, thank you very much for four months. I probably, I think I missed some more alerts in there. Apologies for that. Uh, Metal Pandora, thank you for four months. Calf K Mark, thank you for the tier one. Lava Splash, thank you for two months. Day nine, thank you for the tier one. Sorry, I missed these, my bad. I was busy not getting married. Lambo, thank you for 19 months. Very much appreciate it. There's a restoration perk combo that is kind of sick. Turns your self heal spells into big AOE, then allows that AOE to damage enemies. Light wielder and under my wings.
60, increases false light damage by 10% and allows the perks Sacred Guardian and Under My Wings to hit and damage enemies. So we have false light. Trying to figure out where under my wings is. Is it this one? Dual casting a healing spell on yourself. Also cast it on nearby non-mechanical allies within 20 feet. Does not apply to concentration spells. Sacred Guardian. Um, okay, so it's like if I cast a healing spell on myself, then it would kind of just damage all the enemies around me, <clears throat> which is cool. You know, if that's the build you're going for. I just, I don't know if this is like all that just for like my preferences of usually playing this game and the combat encounters and whatnot. I don't know if, I don't know. I mean, I can't really do much, right? I only have one inventory slot. <laughs> I, am not, I don't have very much choice here. But I think I want to ditch Flame Cloak and go with an actual kind of more normal destruction spell that can smack something. What is the build you're going for? I mean, it initially sort of like a turtle, like a defensive turtle where my followers do a lot of the work. I can kind of chill, heal them and keep them alive, play more of a support character. I think I am going to get rid of Flame Cloak, though. It's too much clutter. Like, I can't really see the kills all that well. I do like punching things. I think it's the fact that I have to rely I don't I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep at it. I think it'll eventually morph into something that's really, really fun. Why, man? What did I do to you? Thank you, Tom, sir. I've almost been subbed for a year. Hell yeah. Chanergy, appreciate you. Thank you for 11 whole months. Now, if you can't see anything on the screen right now, no worries, neither can I. Oh, whoa, what? That was badass. All right, I'll, I'll give Serana that one. That was pretty cool. I'm going the wrong way. God dang it, I always do this to myself. I'm going the wrong way. Dawnstar, we can take the boat to Solitude. Your follower leaves for your wedding. Oh no, Mercurio. Although, hold on. I'm not thinking about the marketability of Mercurio. Imagine if we got married, became a power couple, became the heads of every single guild in all of Skyrim, and then we can get into merchandising, Mercurios. Huh? Come on. It's a healthy part of everyday breakfast. Marcarios. Worth every set. Make him be a stay at home dad and cook for you. Hold on. Are these spiders fighting each other? Do they normally do that? 
Rocky Deer, thank you for the 500 bits. Appreciate that. No plans on getting involved. Oh no, she's gonna kill the Christmas guy! Okay, he's essential, let's go. I'm actually freezing to death, let's move. 50 gold, that's nothing. Guards won't be that upset. About damn time we got a quest complete though. Go to the wedding and cast Fury. There's only gonna be like two people at the wedding. Put on some damn clothes already. No! Jeez, I've lived here for like two weeks. Need a room? Sure thing. It's yours for I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know. I gotta drive back home so don't cause my accident. Well, if you're driving, don't have a stream on. Come on, make smart choices. Well, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, well, let's think about this for a sec. I need you to endanger yourself and all the traffic around you to still hang out in the stream. It's necessary, actually. If I find out that you haven't kept the stream on while you're driving... For the record, I am not encouraging anybody leave the stream on while they are in the middle of driving. Please do not do this. All right, I'm getting rid of Flame Cloak. I always forget, Oak Flesh is the more powerful one, right? No. Stone Flesh. I drive and watch stream- Don't- Don't- Please. That is dangerous. I am now, con I'm, I'm concerned. Why am I still freezing cold? I slept at the inn. I listen, I don't watch. Okay, perfect. I can take, where are you headed? Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Wait a minute. What is that? What is that option? May not look where are you headed? An island near the border to High Rock? The one with the ruined castle? Don't you know that place is... I'll take you as far as I can, but I'm not hanging around, and it's gonna cost you extra. Dude, hell yeah, I don't care as long as it gets me there. Mm-hmm, until next time. Good morning. Where are you headed? The one with the ruined castle? It looked like it didn't even give me the option. That place is cursed? Even seasoned sailors steer far around that place. I'll take you as far as I can, but I'm not hanging around, and it's going to cost you extra. I have 282 gold. Oh, well, what the hell, dude? What do you need? Where are you headed? Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. I must not be able to Thank afford you, it. Kind, sir. Oh, it's 500? Uh, I'm kind of. Okay, now nah, he's still not taking the boat. What? Hey, what's your deal, buddy? Yes. Where are you headed? Solitude. Take me Come there. On in the boat and get comfortable. I think he's broken. Not anymore. I was, but you're a dick. I can take you to any port on the coast. May not look like where are you headed. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Wait, wait. What am I doing? Easy fix. Quick save. Quick load. We're good. Hmm? Where are you headed? It is 500 gold. Damn. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Yeah. There we go. 
How did the dungeon go? Did Mar Marcurio did survive. He's going back to be left on the altar for a second time in a row. You talk to Ed Brothers. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Honestly, the dungeon was kind of underwhelming. I think it's the build, though. I don't know if I like this build all that much. We'll see, though. All right, I'll be back. You guys can party down with chair. Go. Did I tell y'all? Actually, I know I didn't tell y'all. Because I posted this on the... Uh, I posted on the Discord server about this last night. But I had a really stupid fucking idea. And by stupid, I mean it's actually kind of brilliant, okay? So, hear me out. We're going to do a stream in the future. Where... Hold on. I, I thought I saw something that I didn't... We're going to do a stream in the future where the goal for like the first hour and a half to two hours, actually the first whole entire stream will likely just be all of chat will have to fill in the blank Skyrim, but blank, right? It doesn't matter how stupid your like thing is. I mean, it has to be somewhat feasible. Like it has to be somewhat valid. Um, Skyrim, but blank, right? We try to come up with as many really stupid ones as we can. Like Skyrim, but, but you can't see. There you go. Okay. So we come up with a shitload of these. We get them all written down. I go into the lab for a day or two and kind of order them out of how we would do them. And we do Skyrim, but you're a barrel. Boom. Brilliant. That would work, right? And I want to make a video that's literally just titled Skyrim Butt and then nothing else. And it would be another sort of like variety challenge thing or like compilation type video where we do each and every one of these or maybe not all of them, but we do a lot of these. The ones that we're able to do. And in each every single one of them, they're all one shots. So if I die, I have to end it. I have to like move on to the next one. That one sounds fun. Skyrim, but you beat the game. That'd be kind of hard permadeath. Honestly, like if I played it on Survival Expert, 
I'd probably die within like four hours. But they'd have to be pretty quick. It's a really stupid idea though. <laughs> like, I think it would just be funny because we could we could poke fun at like the YouTube naming convention of game title but thing. Skyrim, but you're a douchebag. That's uh, hey hey whoa. That's not how I always am. What am I doing right now in this moment that makes my character a douchebag? I'll wait. You stood up Mercurio. Okay, Mercurio's a deadbeat. Try again. Next. <laughs> Halfling, that's actually a fucking hilarious idea. I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> just I could just sit here and pretend that I'm playing, but Jabo is playing instead on the other side. <laughs> that actually sounds kind of funny. Actually, we should do blindfolded. Like, I could blindfold and then just have him try to tell me where to go. I think that would actually be... Ah! No, 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 not you, not you. You're like the one thing I hate in this entire universe. And I hate a lot of things. <laughs> You're like the one thing that I hate most. That's, that would make more sense. What if it kills Serana? Ah, she'll be all right. She'll be good. She's not going to jump off of a cliff or nothing, right? Guys, you're 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 using all your good ideas now. Save them for when we like do something like that. She really, she, she got clapped up a little bit, but she's okay. She's alive. Thank you, kind sir. Skyrim, but every dungeon you clear makes your gear worse. So you start off at like dragon slash daedric and work your way down. That's kind of fun. I kind of like it. Jooms bro. Thank you for two months. I'm dying again. Am I going to get arrested? That's privileged information. Now, move along. Right, yeah, they gotta get moving. Let's not die here. Skyrim, but you're a hat part two. Ah, uh, let's not get frostbitten. I hate that. The whole being naked part is kind of tough. Holy crap, we gotta get to the castle. Go, oh my God, I'm running out of time. Well, how much time do I have left? I have 10 health. <laughs> Serana, go get to the, get inside. What do I have? Okay, we're still at 10 health. 
We're good. We're good. We're recovering. It's all right. Crisis averted. Okay, so before we go in there. Uh, daddy issues? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. Are you taking the lead here, or am I? Lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. Easy, puppy. No. My long lost daughter returns. Oh, he's got a name. Why is it capitalized all strange? After all these years, that's it looks like a username. Yes, I have of course, she I'm delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Wow, that was defensive hand gesture. That is idle. Uh, that is uh, idle hand on chin gesture. Before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this? That's idle uh, moving. Uh, that's idle dialogue moving talk B. Idle, idle dialogue moving talk B. It's different for this body type depends on body type for my daughter's safe return you have my gratitude tell you me can give me an exam on mean? idle commands i got it on lockdown every septum i say loyalty to dawn guard armored troll companions for the win now we're gonna go we gotta go vampire we i need access to food consistently weird flex oh in incredibly strange flex uh i think we take the dominant position here and we really try to get into Lord Harkon's head. Very well. I am Harkon, Lord of this court. Just got here already By mocking now, the king. Will have told you what we are. You're a reclusive cannibal cult. Let's You know what? Let's insult them again. I think that puts us in a power position. Not quite. Though I can see how an outsider might arrive at that conclusion. No. We are vampires, among the oldest and most powerful in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. Idle All moving dialogue talk, A. Eh? betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. I definitely should ask for cash. I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give Idle point. that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Uh, idle dialogue, welcome hand gesture. Men will I use it as a shrug, usually. Never fear death again. Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once. Arms crossed, VAR 1? Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power. I don't remember that one. This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. I mean, I kind of have to. In terms of variety. Be still. Is he going to bite me? Or is it going to fade to black? There's no way he actually bites me, right? Oh, they're doing so much munching. She had her like entire head inside of that guy's torso.
Did my game break? I think it might have broken. All the background munching is really uncomfortable. Damn it. Alright, we'll load we'll re reload. Wait. Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot da 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 Oh no way. Oh I thought I thought it broke again. My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my elder scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have. Of course. She has the light. scroll. Now tell me, who is this stranger? A savior. This is my savior, the one who freed me. He's in shock. For my daughter's safe return, tell me. What is your name? I am Hark. By now, my daughter will have to not. For centuries we lived. I was about. There is. I offer you my blood. Then you will. Perhaps you still need convincing. All right, let's hope it works. I'll just quick save here in case it breaks again. That I offer now. Make your choice. Be still. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spam activate the people on the tables. What does that do? I don't. Thank you, kind sir. Look at you. Love you. The VODs look forward to them all the time. Miss Steph, thank you very much for twelve entire months. Appreciate it. I can't. I can't even bring my hands up. Can't activate anything in there. Can't shout. I can wait. <clears throat> Present yourself to Lord Hark at once. Why does his mouth? <laughs> why does his mouth have to move like that? I'm not apologizing for this. Prepare thine ears. Present yourself to Lord Harkon at once. Present yourself to Lord Harkon at once. <laughs> <laughs> it just kills me how his mouth has to like move that much. <laughs> like, why does it? Why does it have to move that way? Present yourself to Lord Harkon. Okay, you're annoying me, and I'm trying to be funny here. Do you think it's the? Tabbing console, set stage. Okay, let's try it. Set stage, DLC. 1VQ202. 40. Then I speak to him. He bites me. And then... Hold on, hold on, chat, you're scrolling. There we go, okay. I paused it on my side. All right, I typed it in. That didn't work. Oh wait, hold on. It failed. DLC 1 VQ02. Oh. Oh, where's he going? I probably should turn the effects audio back on.
Where is he going all naked like that? Is that a TOS violation? Let's try the other one. You said 180. Oh. Uh. Was I supposed to get some kind of ability, though, that I don't have now? You would dare show up here after becoming mortal, abandoning all that Lord Harkness granted you. You'd best find him soon. Ask him to change you back. Looks like it's broken. This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. Okay, now do the set stage. Be still. Now he just walks away. Lord Harkin? Please? I will join the Dawn Guard and fuck all of you guys up. I was still. I was very still. That's what I thought. He's walking to where he gives the Vampire Lord tutorial, but he still hasn't bit me. Do it before he transforms. So I did. Do I need to? Try the command right when I get in. We talked to him in third person the first time. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? You reloaded to before you went into the castle. That's a good idea. Let's try that. Let's go all the way back out here to when we were dying. This must be it's definitely one of my mods, though, that's breaking it. <clears throat> I like the idea that it might be the first person animation. That camera, that could be breaking it, especially if there's a first-person animation. So we could try the whole camera, or the whole encounter in uh, third person. I'm gonna fall asleep redoing this part. I'm about to I'm gonna save My lord everyone I can't believe it My long lost daughter returned She has a scroll I trust you have my elder scroll test I really I wish now well I'm waiting Yeah there we go we just had to fast forward a little bit for my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Will you be a hunter? For my daughter's tell me, what is your name? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, don't touch anything. Would have no, I, I just was speeding up the game. That shouldn't break anything, right? Put on some subway surfers and family guy clips. Dude, I need some subway surfers and family guy clips right now. For centuries we lived here. I was about. There is. I offer you my blood. Then you will be. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold, Behold the, power. the power. So damn, chat's horny today. What is it about vampires? Now, make your choice. 
Be still. You're breaking my heart, Lord Argon. I want to be with you. I mean, you were going on about schlongs of scare. Well, that's because it's funny. <laughs> that's because. Just let me be in your guild. I promise I'll work hard. If I make myself cry, he has to let me in. working just gonna tear up a little bit more ah oh, damn it I blinked maybe it, do you think it has anything to do with me no I guess I don't have the vampire disease Okay, so the fix, oh, uh, okay, okay. So the fix is, let's try it one more time. Let's try it one more time. I'm gonna try those commands again. My Lord, everyone, Serana has returned. I guess I'm I expected. So instead of talking to him, we'll fast forward a little bit. Actually, I don't even know if we have to fast forward because if we go stage 40. I trust you have my eldest She has the stone. You, my daughter. Gotta install Schlongs of Skyrim. Can confirm this fixed it for me. Yeah, I mean, if I if I run out of options, I'm just gonna have to add the Schlongs to my game. It might be a controversial change of direction. Okay, so that stage 40. Now let's try 180. Now let's talk to him. You have forsaken my gift. The ancient blood no longer flows through your vein. Count yourself fortunate that I am a forgiving man. Now okay, we can do it. The ancient blood, give it to me. Once good. Do not offend me by losing it again. Wow. Incredibly immersive. You have earned my trust, so I will share what I can. Do not forget the price of your new power. I expect your complete obedience. All right, so. Okay, all right, yes, yeah, sweet. I'm a vampire lord. About damn time. Leave me in peace. Only 15 and a half hours. Do I even look like a cat? Ew. This thing looks gross. I can't even go into free camera. Oh, there we go. Oh, what? Oh, what? Why is it doing that? What in the hell? Oh, uh oh, I already broke it again. Okay, we're fixed somehow. I can't really use my abilities, though. Yeah, I gotta learn how to play. We've got a revert form. Cannot equip it. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Did I break my game again? I think I broke my game again. I think I have completely destroyed Dawn Guard. You can't do any attack actions in the castle? Oh, okay, that helps, that helps. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time. 
Except I'm smarter than the game. So I'm going to do stage 180. Boom. Skip all that nonsense. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Do as I command and you will reap. I sin. Do as I Oh, fuck. Actually, okay, never mind. I, that didn't work. I, I can't skip stage 40. Maybe just side with the Dawn Guard? I am too... I'm too deep. I'm too deep into it. Forty. One eighty. You have forsaken me. You count yourself fortunate. Good. Do not offend me by losing it today. He bites my neck. Remember. Speak to Garen. I am a Lord. Now what is our Lord? Well, you've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? It is a the chalice. He has neglected. Follow me. All right, all right, there we go, there we go. We fixed it. We fixed it. We're doing, we're, we're on to the quest. Except my scroll wheel doesn't work. <laughs> I really have no clue what's going on. The chalice? Why? What you up to, Garan? Lord Harkin's orders, Ortheol. Let's let this all play out. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the chalice. Really? Indeed. We got this. We're gonna be okay. Well then, best of One inventory slot could be messing with it. If they had to like give me a special item. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were alive. That's kind of fucked up. They have cattle. This chalice needs to be filled directly from the blood spring that is the source of Red Water Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Red Water Den has fallen into, well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. <laughs> Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, we might have just had our first big problem. <laughs> this might be our first issue with the quest item. We gotta somehow get this bloodstone chalice to the objective. I mean, on the bright side, we have the Vampire Lord transformation. That doesn't take up an inventory slot, and it's fairly powerful. The woman on the table is who you wanted me to... I'm totally just walking into something dumb here. Fine. I'm gonna regret this. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny, real funny, hilarious. <laughs> fucking hate you all. <laughs> like I knew exact I knew what it was it was going to be. It was obvious. Hey, if my vampire blood boils in the sunlight, shouldn't that offset the cold Thank of being outdoors? Sir. Woot woot. Right? Uh this actually sucks. Like, this fast travel point blows on survival mode. Oh, man. <gasps> That's yucky. That's disgusting. I also still can't switch back to third person. I, th I think my game is, like, completely fucked. Maybe reloading my save works. Oh, those fangs are adorable. Those weren't there before, were they? Yeah, my scroll wheel doesn't work and I really don't like that. I probably have to just completely restart my game and then I'll be all right. 
but I'm gonna head out for the day. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would have. And maybe, maybe I don't really like the build all that much. I don't know. It's like the first two days were electric and were a ton of fun. And I guess today was fun. Losing Benor was pretty awesome. I think I got to get back into you know, getting my followers killed in really stupid ways. But I think we should respec or we should change the build up in some way. Do something. I don't really know, though. How do I join stream every time you end? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I have I've, I'm having fun with it. Conceptually, it's fun to try and think through. But I feel like sometimes. It's almost like we're just. Kind of arriving at the same problem each time. Or like originally when the pro when the challenge started, we were thinking, how can we solve our food problem? Well, we could become a vampire, but then I didn't become a vampire. Then it became about doing the Dawn Guard quest line. But then that was too hard. So we were grinding for a bit. We're still kind of ass. Thank you, kind sir. I don't know if Vancey and magic would be very fun. Having most of the like having limited spells per day, that would just force us into situations where like we have to find a place to sleep and we have to like recharge, which can be fun. But we already have to do that for food, which has been pretty annoying. I'm trying to think, though, I mean. I don't know. I think going bard is the move. Stick to being a sidekick. See how many characters die in your watch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I need to go back to being a sidekick. That was kind of fun. Being a sidekick was the most fun part. Uh, I'm trying to think as well. So I'm going to try and have the next upload done on Sunday. It's been a doozy. But at least we have the at least the majority of this one done. Which I'm pretty pumped about. I don't know why I'm looking at my like stream manager and it just shows a black screen for the stream. Oh, OK, there we go. For some reason, none of it was popping up. Uh, Yoi Bono. I thought that was a prime, but either way, Yoi Bono, good to see you. Uh, ZC Mork, thank you for the prime. Joker Gibby, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody for hanging out today. Thank you all. When will you be streaming next? How do you decide when to stream? It kind of depends. I mean, I'm in a weird spot right now with it where like. I want to get ahead on one project while I try to finish another one. We want to get on a different cadence with, you know, working on our projects and managing them a little bit better, which has kind of led to pushing. A bunch of stuff back. I scared the fuck out of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was looking at the I was looking at the uh, stream manager. So long as you don't overwork yourself, <laughs> I've been doing that for about three years now. It's part of the gig. It's what I signed up for. Sometimes I hate it. Sometimes I love it. Um, but I think when you see the next upload, though, it'll be very apparent why it took so long. I think you'll be like, oh, OK. Be like, oh, all right, that, that's, that's that's why this one took forever. It's a it's a pretty complicated edit. At least quite a lot of it is. But it's a very, very fun four hour video incoming. Uh, I don't know about that long. When's it coming out? I'm going to aim for Sunday. I want to try to. But, you know, usually a lot of times when I'm going through it, I'll think of an idea for a section and sometimes getting that section right just kind of takes a while. And... You know, I, I don't want to do series anymore. I want to do just like one video. Next one is Chaos Mage. No, we already did Chaos Mage. Chaos Mage was the last actual like finished upload we did, which I really enjoyed. I thought it turned out great.
I don't know. Uh, we're definitely going to check out. Uh, we'll do some more Kingdom Come. We'll do a bit more there. What about trying to play two characters at the same time? That could be pretty fun. Helldiver stream? I'm going to try to I'm going to try to talk Jabbo into doing a co-op Helldiver stream. That would be a lot of fun. Will you be doing more Dragon's Dogma? I want to because I have a lot of fun playing it. Wow, day 4 still at it, huh? I feel like most of these take more time than four streams. They kind of take a while. Wait. I don't know if I can do that. I, I don't know if I can play that song. I think I might have to get rid of that one. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm out of here. There you go. You can have your Sonic again. Let's... Who's, who's, who's streaming right now? Let's raid out. Stick around for a minute today. Even, what? I don't know what this song is. Oh my god, Flutton literally just started. Are they doing Skyrim? They are. Flutton's doing Skyrim again. I'm sending you guys over there. They literally just started their stream. Hold on, this shit's awesome. Wait, did it not actually do it? Or is she not actually live right now? No, 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 she is. What is this new raid interface? I don't know what the hell it is. Okay, there we go. Now it's going. All right, catch you later, friends. Have a good one.